know. Oh my goodness, you guys are here so soon. Hi guys, hi. Oh my gosh. Science, I love that name for the film crew. I absolutely adore that name, Sky's Lost Book. Hey everybody, Dr. Guinea Pig, Susie, Seafaring Crow. Oh my gosh, your name is so cool. It makes me want to play Raft. And hey, oh, Brooke in a book, good to see you again. Jeremiah, Holly, the Jaguar, Kitty, Eminem, good to see you tonight. Excellent, excellent to see you. I very much love the pun of your name. Hey, Fluffy, Invisible Eve, hi. How are you guys doing today? It's so good to see all of you again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have missed you. I can't believe it's only been three days. I took a long weekend uh, to go ahead and relax, my weekend being in the middle of the week, and it actually ended up being really busy, and I have quite the dramatic story to tell you about rescuing zoo crafting from being destroyed this morning that I can definitely catch you guys up on uh, in just a little bit. But it's been nice, a ton of rain. Chips and I made a whole bunch of biscuits. I've been reading uh, a new fantasy book series. Hey, Whirlwind Louie, how are you? Hey, Ash Feather. <laughs> so good to see you, so good to see you guys. Frost Fox, oh, oh, so she's getting ready to have her guinea pig pup soon. Oh, good luck, Frost Fox. You love your guinea pigs. Oh my goodness. And Cabot, try it refreshing, it shouldn't lag. We should be good. Let me check. Yep, we're good. Good on my end. Oh, Susie, that's so cool. You know how to crochet? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and science! The book series is actually called Empire of the Apt and it's by my favorite sci-fi author whose name I absolutely cannot pronounce, but he did Children of Time, which is a book all about jumping spiders that end up becoming a sentient race and it's really cool uh i love it so much it basically spacefaring jumping spiders and humans working together um definitely a really cool sci-fi series highly highly recommended and empire of the apt is his early fantasy series where he actually has a whole bunch of people who ended up making these fantasy magic bonds with different insect groups and so they have different traits, like some people are mantis people, some people are moth people, some people are ant people. And I think it's really interesting. Uh, and it may have inspired today's choice of what we're going to be doing in Animal Crossing, my friends. We are, if you guys can't tell, a hungry, hungry litter bug. Let me show it off, because I feel like we're ridiculously cute. We had kind of this design this lovely outfit picked out the other day, but I, it just, it has wormed its way into my heart, you could say. And we are now a hungry, hungry litter bug. Behold, we're adorable, extremely cute. I love it, I love everything about this. I love that she has a strawberry on her head and little adorable cucumbers on her cheeks as usual. Uh, and we're going to be the hungry, hungry litter bug eating up all of the litter around Wildberry today in an effort to finally tidy the place up because much to my shock, I actually didn't get a chance to play Animal Crossing this whole week because I was so busy with YouTube things. Uh, so the island, I haven't cleaned it up since we left off on Mail Monday. Which means, which means, look at Julian, Julian's trying to sweep up my mess. <laughs> which means this, it's, it's in a little bit of a state and we could definitely use with a litter bug, eating up all of the litter, the wonderful gift litter, mind you, but eating up all of the litter scattered around the whole island. So that's gonna be our goal today is to be the hungry, hungry litter bug and actually clean this place up so that we can get to work on some of our bigger goals, like making Cranston's farm with actual ants. Like we have to tidy up this area to get Cranston's farm ready. Was that my son? Was that Cranston? <gasps> Cranston, you're wearing a sushi outfit. Okay, we'll talk to him in a little bit, but I need to continue to catch up with you guys. So let, let's let our little litter bug rest on the flower for a second. And hey, Nate, so good to see you, so good to see you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Peter, thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, I actually need to empty the nest a little. Uh, I forgot to empty the nest from last time. Peter, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Heckin, it's so good to see you guys. Here, here. All right, let me see if I can. 
I need to tidy that up so that we can tell when we get some fresh eggs landing in tonight. I thought I tidied our jar up. And Peter, I will try to add those back in. There we go. And then we'll, we'll just do like a quick test fit. There we go. I can drop some test ones in. And we'll say those ones are from you, Peter. There we go. Now the nest is fixed. <laughs> yes, Cook, it is going to be, Cookie, it is gonna be island cleaning time. I'm pretty excited. And what better way to clean pixel biology style than to do it with, uh, <laughs> Cranston, you're so cute, than to do it with some composting with a nice litter bug. So I thought that'd be really fun. <laughs> Starnova. Siri, when she can't find Cranston, running around Wildberry, shaking the villagers by the shoulders. Have you seen my son? Oh, and oh my goodness. Paint, hang on. Let me check up. Lily, Lily, Lily. Lily, hey. Let's see. Lily cheering. Jeremac. Ooh, Jeremac, you saw some blue eggshells in the nest. You guys, there's actually a new nest. Uh, outside the house. I haven't taken a picture of it yet, but I'll have to tell you guys about it in a second. I I didn't see Lily's alert. Lily, it's so good to see you. Oh, your sub didn't show up, Lily? Oh no. <laughs> Lily, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know why that didn't show up. Twitch might be being a little bit slow right now. But Lily, I can I can get you a picture, my dear. Let me go ahead and pull you up a nice picture. Let me make sure I have my... One second, friends. I need my hard drive plugged in so that I have my pictures available to share with all of you guys. But Lily, Lily, my wonderful dear who has been around for oh so long, I bequeath upon you the first bird of the nest today. Our beloved Nene. One second. <laughs> There we go. I love the nanes. They make me happy when I look at them. I wonder if that has anything to do with why Cranston makes me so happy when I look at him. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta think about that. Also, give me just a moment to get back into the swing of everything, guys. It has been only like three days away from all of you. Oh, hey! I don't know what to put here. <laughs> what a great name. Welcome to the adventures. But it has only been three days since I have been with you guys, and it feels like it's been three weeks. So let me settle back into the pace of our adventures and catching up with all of you. Man, I've missed you guys. Miss Rose, it's so good to see you. How are you tonight? There we go, Lily. Thank you so much, Lily. I, I need to find some nice horses. I actually do have some pictures of some Icelandic horses when we were in Iceland, and I'll try to find them for you. Cranston, you're so cute. But all right, let me go ahead and catch up on everything. Oh my gosh, Nut. Like, trust me. I went the last three days without being on Wildberry and it really feels like I was locked away from somewhere glorious and wonderful. But in case you guys didn't know, our YouTube channel is going wonky donkey right now. Like it's kind of on fire in good and bad ways. <laughs> It's on fire in bad ways because like there's some scary not income happening with YouTube at the moment, but I don't want to complain because I mean the world is what it is and I'm just grateful that people are able to find comfort and happiness in our YouTube adventures and I get a lot of joy out of creating them. So I don't want to seem ungrateful, um, but it's oh snazzy salad, thank you. <laughs> It's so good to see you! <gasps> Snazzy salad! Tonight, I suggest an addition of biscuits. Chips and I have been making some delicious biscuits, and I say that next to our snazzy salad that we have built over the past weeks together, we should have some delicious homemade biscuits. I had no idea how to make biscuits, and Chips recently has gotten into making some whole wheat vegan biscuits that are out of this world. Um, so that's our addition, Snazzy salad. Good to see you too. But to catch you guys up on what I've been doing this week and why I've been away from Wildberry so long, our YouTube channel right now is averaging like 750,000 views every 48 hours. Like a million 
videos are being watched on my channel every 36 hours, at least. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> we only have 8,000 videos. <laughs> um, and that's because everyone's home right now. And I'm really glad that that's happening for people who want somewhere to just be happy and to find a comforting, cheerful place to hang out. I think that's what's happening. I know, it's really amazing. Um, but that being said, it definitely meant that I have been heckin' busy at trying to organize things and make things nice and pretty and fix old links and make it easier for all of these new people who are coming in to be able to find our adventures and find a home in our leafy green goosey community. So it definitely kept me really busy this week and that's why Cranston! Okay, I have to give him a hug, guys. That's why I haven't seen you in days, son! Hey, it's Bonerbean. I like running into you. The best tasting island is Wildberry. Everything tastes great. Uh-oh. What have you been eating while I haven't looked? I feel like I'm talking to a toddler. <laughs> and like, you know, when you're with a little toddler and they're like, yeah, this is yummy. And you're like, wait a second. Weren't you just making mud pie? <laughs> that's what it feels like when I talk to Cranston. I'm like, oh, that's what, wait a second. <laughs> I know, right, Fox? We leave him for one minute. What have you been eating? Everything. Cranston. Now I feel like I'm talking to one of my puppies again. Like, give, open your mouth. Cranston, that's too vague! <laughs> okay, my headcanon is that he's been chewing on sand while we've been gone. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I, I, I could see that happening. Well, as long as it doesn't kill you, Cranston. <laughs> Dirt and stick stay on the ground, Cranston. Oh, hey, Tara. But, oh, Lily. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, today will be a chill stream. So, I hope that those of you who have had a bit of a rough week, some long days, will be able just to sit back and relax with our hungry, hungry litter bug as we clean up Wildberry and prepare for the upcoming adventures. So, I hope you guys can, can just chill. And I guess I did say it. I will knock on wood. My desk is made out of wood. Just knocked on it. I said chill stream. Everything's going to be fine. I can't actually name a time where we've actually had a chill stream that stayed chill. And I haven't checked on Tiffany yet today. But I'm sure it's going to be fine. <laughs> I know, right, Fluffy? But yeah, so that's how my week has been so far, is just trying to get the YouTube stuff going um, and like protecting, protecting zoo crafting. Uh, the last little story I'll tell you before we get going on our Animal Crossing today is how many of you guys are familiar with our zoo crafting series and how it's like a five to six year old world in Minecraft that we have built in an old version of Minecraft. How many of you guys uh, know and possibly love our zoo crafting series. Oh, and Carly, I am currently drinking some nice mint uh, morning gut tea, and it's very refreshing. Oh my word! Sorry, <laughs> Kohara Moon. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you. Oh, lots of love, lots of love. I love that corgi. I just bred like a Shiba Inu and a Golden Retriever together earlier on my YouTube channel this week. It was adorable. Uh, very cute pups. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, okay. So you guys know about zoo crafting? Yay, me, me, me. Okay. Oh, and Curse Skeleton, you've been rewatching it? Yes. So. In case you don't know, with an older version of Minecraft, you do not want to take the same world and put a new version on it. <gasps> Heckin! Holy cow! Mason! <laughs> thank you! Two months down, many more to go! Stay smiling, sunflower! Oh, Mason, thank you so much! Let me go ahead and pull up a beautiful picture of, actually, because you said flowers, of hibiscus, just really quickly, from Hawaii, no less. Uh, and then let me pull up a random, I'm just gonna, oh my gosh, Delfron, hey! <laughs> Delfron, hi! Hi, guys! Oh my goodness, it's a raid! You 
guys! Man the towers! It's a raid! It's a deli raid! Hi, Delfron! I hope you've been having a good day! Stacy was just talking about how much fun she had watching your... Oh! <laughs> Susie, thank you. She was just talking about how much fun she had watching you and your community look over the Wholesome Games Direct, which I think sounds like a brilliant idea, and I hope you found some games in that that you guys are looking forward to. And Whirlwind Lou, thank you so much for extending your subscription. Heckin', I'm gonna have to find some good animals now to show off to you guys. Let me see what I got hiding over here in my little folder. And <laughs> LaVissa! Dang, when everything happens at once, it happens at once. <laughs> Lavissa, thank you. Welcome to Grim Mist, Uptown Girl, Aloof Fox, and Magpie Birdie. Oh my gosh, I wish I had a picture of a magpie right about now. Welcome to the nest, you guys. Holy heck. I missed you all too. <laughs> I know now it's just such hype. <laughs> And there is a balloon. There is a balloon, Kahara Moon. And ironically, I don't have a... <gasps> and that's a Madagascar moth. Oh my gosh. But I don't have any room in my inventory. Okay, I can't ignore that moth though. Cranston would be so sad if his mom ignored that moth. Oh my goodness gracious. And Gainus, welcome. Gainus, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to have you along for the adventures. I gotta catch this moth. It's on the principle. I am the hungry, hungry litter bug today, so I absolutely have to catch this little moth. Yay! We got him! All right, there we go. <laughs> oh, you guys, it's so good to see all of you. <laughs> Thank you and welcome, welcome. Renee, you made it! It's so good to see you, Renee. Oh, heck. I'm so happy to see you. There we go. And Cranston is now watching me. Oh no, he's sniffing the flowers because he's just the most precious little bee. Lily, look, your sub came through. I don't know why it showed up so late. <laughs> All right, and then let's come in here. Welcome to the nest, everybody. If you're just joining us, I was telling a quick, Renee, there you go. And now you're in the nest too. Oh, I'm so happy. Heckin. There's a lot of drama happening all of a sudden. Uh, but welcome guys, if you're just popping in, we're getting ready to be the Hungry Hungry Litter Bug and to go around and actually clean up my island. It has gotten a little overgrown and a little out of hand with many wonderful, glorious gifts that- oh, Miss Rose! <laughs> Girl with a game, thank you so much for gifting Miss Rose a sub. I missed you all too. I missed you all too. Oh my gosh. And Julian's even serenading all of us. Heck. But yes, we're going to be the hungry, hungry litter bug coming on in to eat up all of the litter, which of course is wonderful gifts that people have left for us. Uh, but we're going to eat up all the litter and tidy up Wildberry tonight. And then if you use the command to do, I actually have more of a to-do list that I already have forgotten, which is why we make a to-do list, because I already forget them <laughs> to help keep me on track. Uh, and whenever somebody ends up in our nest, like all of you lovely people with your eggs, I try to pull up some cool pictures of birds and animals that I have actually seen in person. Um, so let me see, what is the most exotic thing I can find to turn all of you into for your month in the nest? I think, I think. Okay. Now, a giraffe would be a good fallback, but I turn many of you into giraffes. So let's do... How about... Okay, this is a fan favorite, and actually Pride Month is coming up, and this bird kind of represents a little bit of those pride colors to me. Uh, so we're going to do this bird right here. And so all of you who are in the nest right now, you are this glorious iridescent beauty uh and i hope oh my gosh <laughs> and i very much hope that uh it will bring you some joy i can't remember what this guy's name is but it is actually a beautiful bird i know i have the name written down somewhere that was in the north carolina aviary and every single time i see it it just takes my breath away because it is a moving iridescent glory of purple and kahara moon <laughs> Thank you so much. 
<laughs> you always make my day, Siri. I love learning from you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I wish I do. I think this is a type of a sterling, believe it or not. And I love showing this picture off to show how sterlings can be so beautiful. And Tom Kelly, welcome, welcome to the adventures. I know, it really is such a glorious bird. And everywhere it moves, when I see it in the North Carolina Zoo Aviary, it's just nothing. Hey, Sparkle Kink! It's just nothing but iridescent moving purple. Very, very, very pretty. So that's what you guys who just jumped into the nest get to be this month. Uh, and I think I have another, here's another picture of it. Like this is it when it was yawning. So I caught it mid yawn. <laughs> and thank you guys. Oh my gosh, and a hype train. Heck. Oh, and Raven Silver Sea. <gasps> Raven, <laughs> you just hatched all the eggs. We have an egg scramble. <laughs> You keep finding the prettiest birds to show us. Thanks for the adventures. Thank you, Raven. Pretty soon, I am going to have to start working on um, like showing you guys pictures of other birds. But I have a lot of birds I've taken pictures of, thankfully. Oh, I know. Oh my gosh, British Lemur. Oh, I need to catch up with what you just said. Okay, British Lemur. Hey, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. I saw that you said something. Did you know there's a lemur village? Amiibo number 260 Tammy. A little villager. She has red eyes and a striped tail. <gasps> oh, I, I think I may have Tammy. Okay, I need to go ahead and turn a few more of you. And uh, heckin, who just landed in the nest? Where'd you go? I didn't lose track of any eggs. What are you talking about? <laughs> You got Sherb today? Oh, Delphron! I know you were looking out for him. I, I pop into more of your streams than you know because I'm usually in the middle of editing. I usually pop into like three out of four days of the week. I'm, I'm usually like lurking <laughs> and just kind of chilling. Uh, and it's really funny because I feel like every time, every time that like you get any food from Dylan, it's just the exact moment that I got lunch. And so somehow we inadvertently end up eating like meals together and I'm always tickled by it. And I almost never say anything cause I am just in the middle of editing and like 5 million different things. <laughs> but there you go. Just so you know, Delphron, we're usually like at some point during your streams during the week eating together. <laughs> oh, 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 we're being summoned. Hang on friends. Sheldon, what is it? I can't find a tiger butterfly anywhere. He's coming to the litter bug. He knows what's up. Hate to bug you. We're dressed as a bug today. But could you catch a tiger butterfly for me, Splash? I'm on it, Sheldon. I'm on it. The end of the championships. The other team's up by 81, and you're going to carry us to victory. Are we bug catch competition today? Well, you're going to carry a bug to me. You got this, Splash. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead, and we are definitely going to catch him a tiger butterfly, because that's ridiculously adorable, and I love that he used a bug pun on us. I need to actually go get my wasp nest out because every time we hit a hype train, I put the wasp nest out. And before I go to do that, we just had a couple more people land in the nest and I demand of myself another cool picture to show you guys. And another bird that reminds me of like Pride Month, which is coming up and I wanna do something for that. I was talking to the Discordians, uh, all the patrons and subs who are in our private Discord about possibly playing The Last of Us on stream. I've never played it before, and I know it's heavier content, but I think it might be really fun. Where is my bird? I need to find it. Okay, I know I have a good picture of it somewhere. Ah! Ah! It's in Taiwan pictures, I know that much. Give me just a second, guys, this is important to me. I gotta figure out where I stuck this picture of this cool bird. <laughs> Actually, here guys, I'm gonna show you a picture of another bird um, that a few of you guys are gonna remember. And this is actually a joke reference to a bird for those of you who just landed in the nest. We did send all the eggs scrambling everywhere. So we're gonna say that this particular bird scared away a whole bunch of our eggs. And then I need, I, I hear the balloon. I don't have a balloon blaster at the moment. Uh, but how many of you guys remember this species of bird? I'd love to know. <laughs> Woohoo! Hype train wasp nest! <laughs> 
I love this thing. I'm really into bugs lately, so this is a very good thematic thing to put out. There we go. You stay right there. The hype train has earned the swarm. Peter! Thank you so much, Peter. Holy heck. I'm so happy to see you guys too. <laughs> The roof cat, Eminem plays, yes, the roof cats. The roof cats are now tree cats. Delfron, I'm so glad that you remember him too. Oh, Renee, thank you. I'm so glad that you can catch the stream too. Heck, and now we're talking about like Pride Month and everything. I gotta find the picture of this bird. Okay, so this bird is a cat who lived on our roof when Chips and I were in Taiwan a couple years ago. We lived there for the summer so that he could do some studying. And we had three cats, three roof cats that lived with us from day one. They were not tame. They were like vaccinated, spayed, neutered strays who lived in the area. And those three claimed the rooftop little apartment that we were staying in as their own. And I just saw them from day one and I named one noble lady. I named one boss and I named one bird. Those names just popped into my head as soon as I saw them. And this was bird. So he's the bird that some of you guys get to turn into. But really quickly, I'm gonna see if I can find the five color bird, which is a species of bird, actual bird, that we saw when we were in Taiwan that I fell in love with. And it is actually, okay, yes, this is probably it, maybe. And if I can't find it, we'll look for more pictures later. Okay, that's the day we went to the egrets. Hmm, these are egrets, egrets, egrets. But, oh, oh, hey, Camel, thank you so much. Oh man, wow, this is a trip down memory lane. You know, there's a good chance that you guys are going to Taiwan with us next year too. If everything calms down, because we're just assuming the best at this point, um, then Chips and I will be probably moving back to Taiwan for anywhere for three months, eight months, somewhere in that range so that he can do some more studying. So there's a good chance you guys are actually going to be back there with us, just FYI. All right, and I can't find the bird just yet. I've talked about this bird a lot because I love it. So I'll keep looking for it. And we'll find it another time. But heck, I, I will find it eventually. I'll find one more cool picture from Taiwan to share with you guys before we pop out here. And then let me catch up with chat. Because <laughs> now I've been, I've been hunting for this specific, you know when you're really proud about like one picture you took and you're like, hang on, I know it's in here somewhere. That's how I feel. Oh wait, is this it? Have I found it? <gasps> nope, wait, maybe? Hold on here, friends. No. However, I have found, when I, when I tell you guys we had roof cats, I mean, we had roof cats. This is what it looks like when you would look out the window. There were all these tin roofs with cats on them. And uh, Brooke in a book, Taiwan is exactly flipped with Eastern Standard Time. Uh, or excuse me, yeah, Eastern Standard Time. So like right now it's my 7 p.m. and it'd be 7 a.m. there. The, the feline bird, a majestic subspecies, notable for its ex obsession with knocking over items. Yes, neat. And that's Boss taking a snooze. He Like I just looked down one day and he was asleep on like, we lived up on the seventh story and he was somewhere down on like the fourth story sleeping on somebody's tin roof. <laughs> it was just really cool. Rainbow lorikeets are really perfect for Pride Month, Renee. I agree. The five color bird definitely is too. Oh, Cyber, I hope you're enjoying Spirit of the North. Let me catch up with everything. And Gentleman New. Ah, the infamous bird-eating bird. Despite its cat-like appearance, it, it molds in well with the nest shaped, uh, shapes its habitat. Oh. Oh, and you guys like it. Okay, so you guys do like um, The Last of Us? Because we just may play that next month then. I would definitely, it's heavier content, but a really good game story arise. Oh, Ren, you're so, look at you with your peacock. Oh, I can't believe you've already like grown into a peacock. That's amazing. And British Lemur, yes. Okay, so we'll look into that for next month. But all right, let me go ahead, 
Settle on in. You guys gave me a heckin', heckin' hype of a welcome back. I hope you all had a good week too. Hey, Crisis Wolf, don't worry about it. We'll be here. You guys gave me a heckin' hype of a start. Uh, and it's just, oh, it's wonderful to see all of you guys again. I, I really missed you. And I'm really happy to be back. And I've missed Wildberry too. All right, let me fix the bun. It got a little loose in all the excitement. Uh, but all right, so let's go ahead and see. Today on the to-do list is Hungry Hungry Litterbug, Mr. Mole Cricket, because I am not a thousand percent sure that I actually have a mole cricket. And I need to make sure we get them before the end of uh, May, because I think, have I dug up mole crickets? Okay, we've turned them into blathers, but I want to have at least three so that we can eventually get a collectible of him. And I would love to keep more down by Red's Beach, because I think that when you put them down, they're in tiny, adorable little like mole cricket cages that look totally shady and perfect to put around uh, Red's area. Uh, and then the other things we have to do today, town gossip. And after we pick up all the litter, we're going to see what Isabel thinks about uh, how the island has turned out. And then let me catch up. Oh, Annie! Your zoo actually had a pair of gay lorikeets for a while. Then some new birds were added to the flock and the dynamic shifted. That happens a lot with penguins, too. I think one of my zoos actually gave a male couple of penguins um, a egg to raise, and they did a very good job together. Let's see, and Rin. So The Last of Us has some very adult themes and extremely nail-biting moments, and it's worth every minute of it. My husband and I played together a long time ago, and we're very excited for the sequel. And there is the sequel coming out, isn't there? Okay, yeah, we should definitely play it, because I think we'll have a really good time. Oh, and Toby, you're in strawberry mood today? Just made strawberry shortcake? <gasps> you're sitting on your couch watching your partner, uh, with your partner, sweetie, drinking strawberry hibiscus tea while listening to your favorite hibiscus loving YouTuber. <laughs> Toby, that sounds like a wonderful, beautiful strawberry day. Hopefully soon we will have Meringue's Cafe up and going so that we'll actually be able to have a strawberry day of our own. Because uh, Meringue's, are, Meringue's area is perfect for having lots of strawberries. Oh, Sheldon. Oh, we have to catch him as tiger butterfly. Make sure I don't forget, guys. Because I'm going to feel bad if I forget to catch Sheldon his tiger butterfly. Oh, there's even litter over here. And one of the villagers just left the espresso machine on. No, they left the blender on. I didn't know they could just do that. They could just turn on the blender and walk away. <laughs> I think it was Cranston. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Oh, all of the crickets do it. <gasps> Thank you, Gentleman New. I would love, oh, and I would love to visit your island sometime because your island is in the Southern Hemisphere and it's gonna have a whole different set of animals. All right, and then let me catch up. And then, let's see. <laughs> British lemur, is Tiffany trying to flood the island? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Let's see. Cranston making a sand smoothie toast. <laughs> oh, I forgot how quick and witty all of you can be. Oh my good gravy. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna try to start by at least cleaning up our pockets, going through all of the wonderful gifts that people have brought us. Uh, oh, and while I do that, while I start to tidy up my pockets, I'm gonna tell you guys the horrifying, almost complete destruction story. Hey, be more fossil, welcome, welcome to the adventures. But I will tell you guys the horrifying, near complete destruction of zoo crafting that we almost had happen this morning. And it was one of the more exhausting mornings I've had, even though I thought I was gonna spend it recording things for our YouTube channel. Uh, this morning, hey Amelia, welcome, welcome to the adventures. This morning I went to log in to actually record the first episode of our zoo crafting series after not having like recorded it for so long, thanks to how kind everybody has been. And it thanks to the stream we did last week, where you guys really reassured me that any zoo crafting is just home and that we can do big story things later and I don't need to stress myself out about it. I was feeling really good. And I was like, okay, it's time. Let's go ahead, let's record the first episode of our return to zoo crafting. And I went to get into the server and I noticed it was acting a little odd. And I went to pull up the server control panel 
and I noticed that I couldn't log in. Okay. So I messaged the support and I was like, hey, do you know what's up? And he messaged me back and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, sorry about that. It was on our side. By the way, the support person who I thought had just fixed my simple problem so I could move on with my day. By the way, the support person said, I noticed you're running an old version of Minecraft. Don't worry. You were on 1.7.10 and I updated it for you. Now you're on 1.15. The man updated my Minecraft world from 1.7.10 to 1.15 to help me. He was trying to help. I don't think he is exactly qualified to run the support desk of a Minecraft server host area. <laughs> because what happens for those of you guys who don't know, if you upgrade a Minecraft world like that, is that you will completely destroy it. Hey, Machu! <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the nest. Um, you will completely destroy the world irrevocably. And I quickly messaged him back, now beginning to feel the ebb of panic rising, but wanting to still be kind to, you know, support staff. And I went, oh, we've been on a legacy version of Minecraft with your service for the last four years. Um, did you happen to do a backup before you did that? Hey, Silent Guy DD, welcome. Did you happen to uh, make a backup? Because I'm pretty sure that our world and mods don't work with 1.15 and you know, I need to keep it on 1.7. And he messaged me back, now no longer using appropriate grammar because I think, what did I just learn? I, I wasn't even paying attention. Now because uh, I think he realized he made a mistake, there wasn't even capitalization. There wasn't even punctuation. He just said, wait, could you link me to your mod pack? Hey Renee! Data service support guy, stop it. <laughs> Thank you, Renee. <laughs> He's like, wait, link me to your mod pack. And I said, well, you see, this is a custom mod pack we've run on your service for four years now. And it and we haven't had any issues yet. And it's got over 170 different mods that some no longer exist. So I can't link you to them. Uh, and by that point, he was pretty frantic. And I asked him to hold on and not push any more buttons. And I frantically logged in uh, using an FTP service and downloaded all of the files, all the files that I could get from ZooCrafting. Thankfully, he hadn't tried to restart my server yet, so he hadn't overridden the world. <laughs> and just before he tried to restart my server for me to see if it worked without backing it up, I finished my backup. <laughs> So I plucked ZooCrafting from the jaws of death at the level one server support noob and put it onto my computer and it's safe. So we're safe. But it was, it was really intense. And at one point, Chips poked his head in and he went, why are you squeaking? Because I may have been rapidly typing and trying really hard to be nice to this noob who clearly didn't know what he was doing. But don't touch anything else. <laughs> and, and apparently a slow sh like whine had been rising in volume in my room of like a concerned screech that sounded kind of like a tea kettle. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't go on our morning walk as a result because I was a little bit, a little bit panicked. I'm not gonna lie. I was just a little bit panicked. <laughs> oh, Stacy, hey! <laughs> Hi, Stacy. I hope you guys had a wonderful time with the Wholesome Direct. You guys, look at all the puppers we've got. Oh my goodness. It's a raid giraffes. Mend the towers. Peony plays, hi! <laughs> speaking of Minecraft and speaking of keeping our precious zoo crafting world safe, it is the dog craft queen herself, the mystic Mesa Wanderer. 
<laughs> coming to visit. If you guys could, definitely. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody here is already following Stacy, but go give Stacy a follow. And if you could, oh, we have a Lunar Lander. What the heck? When did I put a Lunar Lander in my pocket? <laughs> and if you guys could, do please put some giraffes out to welcome all of the adorable puppies because that feels, doesn't that feel like the most zoo crafting thing ever actually? To have a bunch of puppies and giraffes running around together. And Scorpio, yes, I am so glad you enjoy our zoo crafting adventures. Welcome Carmens, welcome Piano Cat, welcome everybody to our, our current, um, Okay, we're in our, our detective attic at the moment. Nothing about all of the gold that we have in these boxes is shady, I promise you. It was just part of security for the island. Totally. You don't need to be concerned. I don't spy on thy villagers, I keep them safe. <laughs> also, Cool Cat, welcome, welcome to the adventures. Lots of kitty cats, too. Heckin', have you guys seen Stacy's cute little emotes? It, there are quite a few freaking adorable kitties i know i've got those kitties there he is milk toast here i gotta show you guys because they're so precious oh my gosh but yes so good timing dead dandelion welcome welcome to the adventures good timing guys we were just talking about how our uh minecraft adventures are actually safe it was quite the dramatic story i should have been playing scary music uh but we are actually we're in the clear but welcome guys <laughs> Oh my gosh, Kayfrey. Uh, what can we do with spare DIY cards? I see all of yours and I have a few. You can give them to friends. I store a whole bunch in here to be able to give to friends. Oh, I need to send this grand piano to you, Paint Seagull, actually. I need to send it off to you. And welcome, everyone! Oh, Zunaria! Kyra Fox, welcome! You just got it. You just got Animal Crossing two days ago. Congratulations on your new adventures. We have been playing since the day of release. We have almost a hundred episodes. Hi, Foxy Roxy. We have almost a hundred episodes uh, of adventures now in our Animal Crossing world, and we're still just getting started. It's fantastic. It, it gives you back all of the love that you give it, basically. And Lauren, you're welcome. Heck, oh, this is so exciting. It has been such a hype and night. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Llama Man, you get some rest. You've been very busy today. <laughs> yeah, Scorpio Angel, our Animal Crossing adventures are... It's just been amazing. It's just been absolutely amazing. All right. Hey, Amelia. Oh, heck, wow. Congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> All right, so that was exciting. And if you guys just came in, we're actually currently getting ready to tidy up our island. As you can see, there is a lot of heckin' stuff everywhere. And that is because we uh, had a mail stream where a bunch of our community members got to come over and drop off presents on Monday. On Mondays, we try to do mail streams and I might start doing some visiting of other islands then too. And the result is always fun, very chaotic. And it leaves a lot for me to clean up. So today we are the hungry, hungry litter bug, and we are going to be eating up all of the litter around the island and trying to tidy it up so that we can get ready to make an ant farm in the next couple days, right over here. And we're gonna have actual ants living in the ant farm, uh, which is gonna be really fun. And Brownie, hey, welcome, welcome. Oh, Bernie, I hope you're having a good time. I love Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. It's just as cute. <gasps> That's a banded dragonfly. Let's go get it, guys. Oh, wait, and we need this tiger butterfly to give to Sheldon. He asked us, the litter bug bug, to bring him a tiger butterfly today, which I thought was very apt. And hey, Schnips, welcome, welcome. Oh, it's so good to see you, Schnips. Yeah, we're gonna have some good uh, zoo crafting adventures coming up. Keep an eye out, guys, since I managed to save uh, needless to say, zoo crafting is going to be a single player world for a little bit because I'm no longer going to be using the host service that tried to upgrade my five-year-old, um, you know, that tried to upgrade my five-year-old 1.7 world to 1.15 to help me. Uh, so I, I'm no longer going to have it be a stream just for or a server for a little bit because uh, I think I don't need to use that service anymore. <laughs> Wolfie girl, park camp is so cute. I love it. 
Science! <gasps> Science, I absolutely need to garnish Sheldon's lawn with acorns and pine cones. Just absolutely. And thank you, excellent, for the, uh, the tea time. I do need some tea. I might make some fresh mint tea in just a minute here. It's been an exciting, like, first hour. Holy cow, guys. Welcome, welcome. Renee, it's been so fussy. So it's just me at the moment, but I mean, that makes it easier to run away screaming and wrapping my precious little zoo crafting world in my arms <laughs> uh, when you know it's just affecting yourself. Oh yeah, neat! You know what? We should go ahead and net, net even. Sorry, net. I see your name and like, I just, for some reason, like I want to call you neat as like a little, a little, oh, <gasps> Cranston! Why are you so cute? Like a cute little nickname. Oh, Cranston, you moved. I love you. You're still cute, though. He's wearing a sushi outfit today. Cranston's basically my son. Uh, he's just adorable. He's precious. I love him. Uh, let's clean up the clutter in his yard. And then we might go through and read the villager mail real quickly. Because the poor villager mail gets buried under gifts so often that I don't usually get a chance to catch up on what it says. I know. I love my boy Cranston. He's so precious. And I'm actually really happy to be cleaning things up on the island today. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, the giant moth thing can stay out for a little bit because I love it. Oh, thank you, Wolfie girl. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoy your adventures together. Oh, 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 that's another rare butterfly. Today is the day of rare bugs. Let's get it. Yes. All right. We are a litter bug. This is important. We absolutely need to catch a whole bunch of bugs today. Also, speaking of bugs, we have the very lovely. Let's go ahead and show it off. Dun dun dun! Hey, Marissa Clark, welcome, welcome! We have the very lovely tiger butterfly that Sheldon, our survival squirrel, who is also a firefighter, by the way, and a junior park ranger, uh, he asked us to catch this for him. So let's go ahead and give it to him. Hey, a splash, working up a good sweat. I've got a bug. Huh? Really, Splash? All right, let's give him a tiger butterfly. I'm very proud of him for asking me for some of our wonderful wild berry natives. Score, it's a tiger butterfly. Thanks. I got you a trophy for your hard work. Okay, it's not a trophy, but take it anyway. All right, what's he gonna give us? What's this, Sheldon? You scored a point with me today, Rutabaga. Have a zap suit. <gasps> he gave us a hero outfit. Use it right and you'll improve your volleyball skills. You guys, a zap suit is like a Power Ranger outfit. He says that we're a hero. It's a green hero outfit. Oh my good gravy. It's like he knows us. My favorite color. And he's calling us the island hero, the protector of the wildlife. That is amazing. Speaking of the wildlife. Hey, it's not Tallstar. It's not Tallstar. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the adventures. Where the heck did that amazing dragonfly go? That dragonfly is super rare, the particular one that's flying around. So I'm trying to get my my little like litter bug hands on it, but we'll have to see. All right, <gasps> Miss Rose, you redeemed the Wildberry field trip ticket. Oh, holy heck! <laughs> oh my gosh! And you'd like to redeem it for Girl with a Game? That is so sweet of you. Oh my goodness. And Terra Shine! Oh, thank you, thank you! Yeah, we're gonna be like the green Power Ranger. Oh my gosh! The Litter Bug Ranger! Oh, Meringue! You literally just popped out of nowhere! Sorry to just spring this on you, but can I convince you to buy my tricycle? Uh, sure, Meringue! That's fine! And one second, Evie, hey! Oh, Evie, I hope you're able to relax with us. We've had a lot of people in our community who said that it's been a bit of a rough week and a bumpy day. So I hope you all can relax, unwind, and become the contented litter bug on Wildberry Island, nomming away at all of the things that we have been meaning to clean up forever and transforming into a peaceful butterfly that I promise not to sell to Sheldon. <laughs> and Miss Rose, that is so freaking sweet. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me think. Um, could I do the, I think I can go ahead and do a little tour for the people who have redeemed the ticket. So let me check. 
because I think today, because I'm going to be picking up stuff mostly and moving some things around. I couldn't move furniture, but a lot of what I want to move is like plants and uh, a whole bunch of the gifts that are on the ground. So actually, let me pop down to the field trip ticket. Uh, Matthew, Annie, Pudding Trubs, and Girl with a Game, if you guys are interested in coming over today and maybe catching some bugs and wandering around for like half an hour or so, well, I'm just tidying up the island. You guys are welcome to. Uh, but match you, yeah. Because we have four people who have redeemed the field trip ticket. You don't have to come today if you don't want to. Uh, but if you want to just like catch some bugs and maybe come be fellow bugs with me, that's an option. Also, let's buy this tricycle really quickly. Sure. Oh, thank you. Do you think 1,600 bells sounds fair for a tricycle? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, thank you so much for helping me like this. I'm so glad I brought this up. <gasps> you guys, what if Meringue's trying to raise money so that she can have her little cafe? What if that's what this is about? And she's just trying to like go ahead. Oh, girl, the game you'd love to. Okay, oh, I'm so happy. Like, I think Meringue is selling her things to try to get funding for her cafe. So hopefully soon we'll be able to get her cafe off the ground. All right. Oh, I'm uh, broken a book. They stay every stream. So when you earn channel points uh, by like, I think you earn them mostly by watching. You earn them double the rate if you happen to be a sub. You earn them by bits, gifting subs, and following. Like I think, oh, and raiding, going on raids at the end of like streams. Those give you a ton of them too, if I remember correctly. And uh, they do stay from stream to stream. Also, there's a balloon in the background. Uno momento, friends. I'm gonna go smacky smacky this balloon, or smacky smacky a tree, to see if I can get some hardwood <laughs> to get the balloon. We're not gonna get the balloon in time. This, who am I kidding? This is, the litter bug needs to chew on some more trees. I need more wood, honestly. All right, I need to pick this up too. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I need to clean up on the island, but it won't get in the way of people visiting. So here, let me, let me do this really quickly. Cause I think it might be fun. Schmack. <laughs> we'll be girl. Okay, free. My, my balloon blaster slingshot broke and I need to make a new one. Uh, but all right, let me, let me do this really quickly. I want to make sure. Dun, dun. I know meringue is so freaking cute. Dun, dun. Okay. All right. All right. Give me just a moment. And actually I'm going to go ahead All right, I'm gonna go ahead one moment, guys, and I'm going to drop for my mods uh, all the names of the people who have redeemed the ticket. And then I'm going to get a special bug invite. <laughs> uh, so Girl with the Game and let's see, match you. Annie Twirly, Pudding Trubs, and Girl with the Game. If you guys would like to come over then the mods will be able to send you these codes. Let's see. There we go. And if you guys wanna come over as bug theme, that's kind of the theme today, which I think is freaking precious. So now I need to open it. Oh wait, they're talking. Did you hear Siri? I feel like a teacher because he just called me Miss Meringue. Sheldon is so polite. Maybe I should be calling you Mr. Sheldon, Novel. Oh my. Could this be competition for Julian's heart? It would be nice to be called boss, just so I could see what it feels like to be in charge of something. Sheldon. <laughs> that's really cute. <laughs> Maybe that's why he wants to meet with dogs so badly. Okay, let's see. Boss, we need a decision right now on the carpet color for our office. Gray or blue? <gasps> Meringue is so sweet playing along with this. Really? Right now? Okay. I want to say blue. No, wait. Gray is good, isn't it? Splash, I sprained my brain. <laughs> I think this is why Sheldon's our junior park ranger. But he's a good firefighter. All right. Thanks, Sheldon. That was precious. Wasn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. Like, some of you might be, um on board with the idea of Julian having a little bit of competition for his romance with Meringue. Uh, 
Yeah, Machu, you can, you can count, uh, it should be okay because Mill Monday is more like open to everybody and Phil Trip is specifically like a special occasion for you. Um, also, you can actually check how many balloons you've popped. I think I can't do this anymore, but until you get to like a thousand balloons, is it? Let me check, let me check. It's raining treasure. If you come over here, you can act, until you get to 300 balloons, you can count how many balloons you've popped. But after that, there's no way to count how many balloons that you have popped. I wish they had like a really cool stat page so that you could just like track your stats because that would be really, really fun. All right, and then let me catch up. Hey, Cuterly! Oh, oh, Cuterly, thank you so much. I'm so glad. I know, isn't it so kind? We have so many people who are like gifting subs all the time to make sure that a lot of people are safe and snug in the nest. Oh, and Annie, that's fine, Annie. Enjoy your dinner. We'll see you soon. <gasps> now you guys are making like really cute ship names for Sheldon and Julian. Or er, Julian! <laughs> Plot twist. I I mean meringue. <laughs> hey kid shells. <laughs> okay, don't mind me. I have to crawl under my desk to grab my switch when I do dodo codes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I guess I gave away one of my ships. No, not really. Uh, that never occurred to me. It's a slip of the tongue, but you know, that's what alternative universe fan fiction's for, I suppose. <laughs> oh my gosh. Julian confirmed! Juldan! <laughs> Julian Juldan! Oh, you guys, that's so funny. I really, I, I, you guys just tickle me. All right, so let me, for the people who have redeemed the wild berry field trip, if you would like to come and enjoy a bug tour, catching some bugs, maybe going ahead and becoming a little bug of some kind yourself, totally up to you. Uh, the mods, I'm gonna drop the code for the mods. Mods, you're welcome too. I'm just tidying up the island today after all. Hey Grace, welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh my gosh, backlog, I love that. I love that. What a beautiful bird. Julian! Julian! <laughs> Wolfie, you're dying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the ship has sailed. Oh, oh dear. Oh my goodness. Oh, Paige, I'm so sorry that the Twitch app is being so fussy for you. It seems like it's being quite the little butt to a lot of people tonight. Okay, that's fine. Yes, Orville. Thank you. Orville really makes you sit through the safety procedures a lot. Orville reminds me a lot of my dad because my dad is an engineer. And so every time we would try to do anything, like especially with fireworks, which now as an adult, I really appreciate. But every time we tried to do anything with my dad, he would like go down the safety list every single time meticulously and then do it again. Now I get why that's so important. But Orville reminds me of my dad because of that. Also page event. Okay, good, good, good. We caught up. The whims of Wildberry have decreed. This ship must happen. <laughs> Maybe it's in like a U ship, but still. All right. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Paint Seagull. And you guys are welcome to come and join in the buggy buggy fun. Uno momento, friends. I have to disappear. Don't worry about this. Do not hit the bun. Ha! Made it. There. <laughs> All right, Julian. No one tell Ilari. She's working really hard on uh, some good Julian meringue stuff. And we, we don't need to throw <laughs> Julian and Shelton into this. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go, let's go tidy up so much. Oh, this is so fun. Cranston and Sky together. It's Cry. Oh, British Lemur. British Lemur, by the way. What was Tammy's amiibo code again? If you're or amiibo number again, I'm going to see if I have Tammy hiding somewhere inside of my book of amiibo cards real fast. Thank you.
you, Lavessa. Oh no, I didn't mean to pick that up. Quick, put it down before anyone arrives. There we go. All right, let's put that back where it belongs. There we are. And tidy these up really quickly. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, good little litter bug. We're actually picking stuff up. I'm very relieved. We'll open things up in our little flower field in a second. Actually, I might need some room. We'll open them up over here. All right. Let me, and thank you very much, Lavissa. I need a little sip of water real quick. Okay. Backlog, I actually don't remember which fossils I need. I just know that one of them's a rib. There's a lot of ribs. And I probably need more than one rib. <laughs> Uh, but I don't remember the fossils I need right away, but I'm not too worried. I mean, we'll, we'll get there. Hopefully we'll try to find the fossils today too. And so 260 is Tammy the lemur, a eh, British lemur. Well, let me open up my book of amiibo cards. Built back in the days when amiibos were dirt cheap. That's no longer the case. No longer the case. And do I have, ah, oh, I don't have Tammy. I actually only have Cranky Kloss on that page. So unfortunately I don't have Tammy, but I will keep an eye out for her because I would love to have a lemur. That would be really cool. And Ashfeather, thank you for the tea time. Oh, and Kayfrey, yeah, Leaf actually does sell a wide variety of flowers. If you happen to need new flowers and you don't have friends that you can hang out with to pick up the flowers from. Uh, also, if you guys are gonna be hungry, hungry bugs coming to visit the island today, just a quick reminder, if you happen to be here today, friends, let me find dun, 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 that list again. Oh, did I close that list? Siri, why did you close that list? That was really silly. Hang on, friends. Like I said, it's been uh, a hot minute. Even though it was only three days, it feels like I've been away from all of you and from streaming for like a week. <laughs> so I'm like, what am I doing? Where am I? Good job, Meringue. Oh, we have somebody coming. All right, there's our rewards. So if you happen to be Machu, Annie Twilly, Pudding Trubs, or Girl with a the Game, then you guys are welcome to come on over. And we have somebody here. <gasps> Tropically grown pioneer Lexi! Oh, who could this be? And turtle lover, there is not a turtle villager, but we do have shell turtles on the shores of Wildberry that I can show you in just a minute. Welcome. Okay, this is Girl with the Game. Oh, thank you. Welcome, Girl with the Game. Please feel free to tour Wildberry, enjoy our wildlife, uh, and shop. I haven't even looked at what's in the shops today. I have not yet restocked June's seashell by the seashore shop with the shell turtles, but we'll get there. Today is Litterbug Day. <laughs> oh, and there is not, um, when, there is not a turtle villager. There's Tortimer from the old games who's an old tortoise. Oh my gosh! You're so cute! I had no idea I wanted Bug Fashion Day so badly. You guys, we should totally do that. We should totally have Bug Fashion Day. Oh, and Wolfie Girl, there are so many wolf villagers. We actually have um, Sky, who is a wolf, Mama Sky, and one of our sweetest villagers. Heck, welcome! Welcome, girl of the game! Oh my gosh, I had no idea I wanted Bug like Fashion Day. And you know what this is reminding me of? So, oh my, what the heck? You have gifts for me too? Thank you! But you know what this is reminding me of? Somehow your outfit reminds me so much of uh, Thumbelina. How many of you guys have seen Thumbelina? Doesn't this, doesn't her like amazing outfit, Lexi's amazing outfit remind you of um, like, was it a moth princess or something in Thumbelina? So cute, I love it. Please feel free to tour, feel free to tour. If you would like to take a picture with me uh, as little buggy bugs, we can come over here if you'd like. Uh, if not, then frolic free. Oh, yay! All right. We're gonna have a little bug bug friend picture time. You even have a custom phone? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm the hungry, hungry caterpillar today. So I yawn a lot. Uh, but let me go ahead and do it. There we go, a little cheerful. Cheerful, happy pictures. Oh, they're so cute. 
I didn't know I was totally just gonna have this phase of life where I just loved everything bugs, even putting a wasp nest into my office. But thank you, Lexi. Please feel free, feel free to run around. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, in fact, here, here, as gifts for the people who visit, I'm gonna make a homemade mum cushion from the wonders of Wildberry. Uh, Cause come on, we're bugs today. We have to have something delicious to eat. So let me make a little homemade mum cushion. There we go. It's a nice little gift from one bug to another. But yeah, was it the ant queen? Was it the ant queen in Thumbelina? How many of you guys have seen that movie? <gasps> I learned the bamboo spear. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Cause I don't watch very many movies. I actually don't, we don't have cable. We don't have Netflix. We don't have Hulu. We don't have time. <laughs> Chips is trying to learn like five languages in there and translating stuff every day. Oh, we have a person coming. And I just don't have time to watch anything other than an occasional friends stream and YouTube video anymore. Um, but let's see. Okay, thank you, Paint Seagull. I really appreciate you checking that out. Wonderful, wonderful. And mods, you guys are welcome to pop by. Hopefully this will this will work okay. Oh, thank you, Turtle Lover. Enjoy your board game with your family. That's really important. Oh, Scorpio Angel. I did. It was a very good movie. A girl that's born from a flower, if I remember correctly. Yep. Yes, Cyber. It was a beetle that dressed her up as his mate, but then threw her away when the other bugs rejected her. Cyber, that's definitely what it was. Oh, Cam Cam, the Stacy lover. Thank you. This is this background is literally just my office. Also, legendary floaty thing, Matt. Welcome back. Good to see you again, friend. <laughs> And Paige, good to see you. Uh, in fact, while we're waiting for everybody to land, Ant Outfit Thumbelina. Thumbelina. There we go. Let's see if I can find it just right. Thumbelina in her beetle costume. That's what it was. That's right. Let me see if I can pull up a good sized picture. Kind of hard to find. Wow, this movie's older than I thought. Now I feel a little bit older. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Aaron's a foodie, welcome. Oh gosh, and if you're a foodie, what's your favorite food? I just made some really good wheat bread today. I'm not a fan of wheat bread usually because it usually hurts my stomach, but we just got this special sprouted, like organic sprouted wheat bread where like they sprouted the grains before making the flour and it's actually fantastic and it doesn't hurt my stomach so i can recommend it if you're not a fan of wheat bread and it's Ganyu! welcome Ganyu! i'm so excited that you can join us i always get so tickled when we overlap with the australian time zone and here's the picture by the way that for some reason welcome toby welcome to the adventures this is the picture of thumbelina in a beetle costume then I kind of want to recreate an Animal Crossing now because she sort of reminds me quite a bit of, um, she sort of reminds me quite a bit of the outfit that Lexi came in today and brought back some great childhood memories. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like that outfit. I know, Miss Rose, isn't that a throwback? <laughs> hey now, Backlog, the wings can be the wings of imagination at the very least. Oh, Snips, you love everything cinnamon. <gasps> Expired breadstick, so good to see you. Oh gosh, toast. I feel ya, I feel ya. Wolfie girl, I'm actually getting ready to start making a sourdough starter. I finally got some high quality like wheat flour that or like flour that I can use. Back when Don Bluth was a thing, oh on. <laughs> girl, oh Lexi, you made the dress you're wearing. <gasps> can do, look at you. I, Ganyu is actually from Australia, so I feel like we actually have quite the exotic long travel. You had to land from quite far away. And Butterfingers, if we can help you relax and drift off to sleep, I am absolutely thrilled. Oh, Peline, it's so good to see you. It's so good to see you again. All right, so now that, now that we've got more amazing people coming on in, hopefully having a good time, uh, I do have things to open and more sorting to do. Welcome everybody, hi! So good to see you all of you. Yay, Matt, so good to see you. Please feel free to tour. 
feel free to have a good time. Gnu, good to see you too. Just run about, catch bugs. If you'd like to do some fishing, I think there's some beta fish and whatnot uh, happening. And I'm gonna make everybody, hopefully, at least a few mum cushions real quick. So let's see, I need two more to make two mum cushions. And then I'll make a couple more mum cushions after that. One of the nice down, like flip sides to letting your island grow wild is that at least you have the flowers that you need when it's time to make gifts for people. <laughs> oh, and that's a good question, Matt. Is Leafy on your favorite? Oh, by the way, um, this is kind of one of those sneaky little things that I pop into our streams just for you guys. But uh, guess who downloaded uh, Pixelmon again? Pixelmon Reforged. Yeah, just not that not the, some of you guys might understand that reference and get excited. It may mean nothing to others of you. But yeah, guess guess who uh, re-downloaded Pixelmon? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I, uh, I I'm, I'm trying it out. We're we're seeing what's going on. Just shh. Secrets, secrets. After last week, you guys were so kind and just spoke out so much about how our adventures have really helped you, how like zoo crafting means so much to you that it encouraged me to go through and to do the work to start getting some Minecraft stuff prepped in the background. It's really fun. Oh, our zap suit. I do feel like a hero. I feel like like Sheldon giving us that awesome zap suit, green zap suit, no less. Like we're a little hero. <laughs> oh my gosh, so many of you guys remember that. <laughs> Our Pixelmon Ranger series was one of my favorites too. And Paint Seagull, I need to mail you this grand piano, but I can't mail it to you while people are visiting. Um, if I forget, please don't hesitate to remind me because I, I have the noodle brain. Things happen when you have a noodle brain. All right, let's make some mum cushions for all the other hungry bugs. Oh, broken a book. Yes, my siblings got into Animal Crossing, two out of three of them at least. Uh, technically, hang on. Technically, now that I'm married, I have one, two, three. I have five siblings and four out of five of them play Animal Crossing on the Switch. <laughs> um, but it can be tricky to keep them into it. I totally feel you. And we have these communities, at least, for those of us who don't have family that play Animal Crossing. Oh, Scorpio Angel! Oh, I'm so glad! I'm so glad! You know, it's been an interesting time for a lot of us lately, and even with YouTube kind of being on fire and being very awkward as being my full-time job, <laughs> which is not- a, I know it's not a stable place. Like, you get into it knowing that, and thankfully Chips is- Hey, Dogcraft fan! Welcome, welcome! Thankfully, Chips also has his job too. He is he is getting his PhD right now and learning stuff. So we're not like worried or anything. But even with like YouTube being as weird as it is and totally not stable at all at the moment for if you're trying to, you know, live and pay your rent and eat, um, I still can't imagine from myself backing down from it at any rate because it means so much to people right now and because that and our streams and time to spend together building up worlds together having big giant messes like this that we fix together i just think that it's really wonderful how that can be a good place for people you know so i'm really proud and very happy to be able just to to carry on with our adventures Oh, and Neighborhood Dragon, you met Cranston on Mail Monday, and the next day you got a DIY bottle for a bone-shaped welcome door plate from Cranston. <laughs> That's adorable. Also, Lexi, hey! <gasps> you got a little bumblebee! That is so cute! Here you go, Lexi. To celebrate your bumblebee, I present you your very own Wildberry Grown Mum Cushion. Perfect for that bumblebee to be able to hang out on. Yay! Oh, and there's Gnu! Gnu! Hey, if you would like a wild berry mum cushion, uh, let me leave it down over here if you guys are interested in some mum cushions. So, because it's... then you can actually see where they are on this island. And, and I made a whole bunch of them because I misjudged how many mums I actually needed. So if you guys need any mum cushions grown here on Wildberry, 
please help yourselves. Uh, it is bug day after all. All right, let me catch up. Matthew says that Tiffany is crafting something very interesting. <gasps> I'm on my way. Oh, and I need to open up these presents too. And then let's see. Oh, Wolfie, right, we have such a wonderful community. I, that's why, I mean, like even with everything as wonky as it is, I'm really happy to still show up for you guys and to be here uh, because, you know, this place is amazing. There's really nowhere else like it. Everybody's coming to Tiffany's house. <laughs> and LaVissa, back when my brother was really young, like in middle school, he actually bought me, his older sister, Minecraft so we could play together. Uh, later, he bought one for our younger, uh, our young and older brothers as well, but it's really just him and myself who still play. So my Minecraft account is special to me. <gasps> Love this, oh, that's so sweet. I'll tell you a story about my brother and Pokemon in just a second. <gasps> Tiffany's wearing the thief outfit. Tiffany's wearing the thief outfit. Okay, we've got to stop chit-chatting for a second and focus on the role play. Tiffany, the thief on our island is wearing the thief outfit which means we have to steal something when everybody leaves because people are on the island right now, so I can't pick anything up. But if she leaves her house, we have to steal something randomly around the village and get rid of it, just throw it in a bin. And we're gonna do that through a poll where I will pick out the items that I see, number them and make a poll and you guys won't know what you're voting on and then she'll steal that item. So if she leaves this house, She's gonna steal something if, as, if she's wearing that thief outfit. But let's see what she's making. Yes, I've gotta know what you're making. Well, you see, I'm... <laughs> Tiffany's making money flooring. She is totally in league with Kitty. I know at first it seemed like we were a little bit pushing that thief role and her gambling addiction onto her. But you guys, why is Wildberry the perfect role play island? Every single time, it just lives up to that. Matt, thank you so much for letting me know what she was up to. She's stolen some money. <laughs> this gambling den of hers has been very successful then. I think it's from all of the wildlife she's been illegally trading from Wildberry Shores. I was daydreaming, you see, and the design came to me. Then, just like that, I made it happen. With what? I know, why don't you try making some money flooring too? Is she trying to lure us into a life of crime? It's, it's really quite exciting. And I'd be more than happy to teach you how. I know all the tricks, Bun Bun. Yeah, that's a clip. <laughs> um, wow, it's quite exciting, this life of crime. Please teach me. We're a detective. That's the spirit, good for you. I've written down the recipe, so do please take it with you. That's amazing. It's a simple project, Bun Bun. You'll be able to whip it up in no time, as long as you have the materials. Wow, you guys, please feel free to get the money flooring from Tiffany. This is a shock. Um, and it's kind of, it tickles me that the people who had the field trip ticket today actually get to learn some of the life of uh, thieving ways from Tiffany herself. This is amazing. <laughs> I know, I, I know, right, Snip? I feel like everybody, oh, hey, Therapy Crossing, good to see you. I feel like our switches are absolutely spying on us. Oh, by the way, turtle, if you're still here, these are the seashell turtles that we created. And I have a new turtle design we can use later to go sideways with them. Very excited. And I think Paint Seagull, did you actually make like crawling through the sand uh, designs? Because somebody in our Discord made like little drag marks of like the sea turtles crawling through the sand and like digging egg spots, which I thought was really adorable. Oh, so it wasn't you, Paint Seagull. Somebody in our Discord did that. And I am so tickled to see what they did. All right, so let's go ahead and see what it takes to make money flooring. Let's learn this. Huh, okay. 
Sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for some money flooring from Tiffany, who's literally playing as her thief. I can't believe she did that. Do you think it's Bells? I think it's Bells. I mean, I know I'm always telling you guys, if you're not here for the role play, I don't know why you're here, but I hope you're having a good time to justify like how much I love the role play aspect of things. But there we go. It's Bells. Should we craft it? I kind of feel like we should craft it. What do you guys think? Yes! Oh, Brooke in a book. These turtles do have uh, the shell seat as their shell and then a turtle design on the bottom. It's not my design. It's something we saw on Twitter and I, I'm just in love with it. Do it! Do it! It is a lot of bells, but I think we should go ahead and craft it. And unfortunately, the villagers won't change the flooring and they won't change the... Um, they won't change the flooring and they won't change the walls that you've actually got. All right. And I need to make some more crafted items for June's seashell shop, but I don't have anything yet. Sorry about that, Lexi. I think there's like one sandy floor left. All right, let's go. Let's go get some money. And we're going to craft it just so that we have it and so that it'll be available at Harvey's photo opportunity place. You guys, it's Pride Month next month and it's going to be the wedding month where you can do all of the wedding photo ops and do wedding projects at Harvey's Island. What kind of couples should we set up? Because we could totally set up some like couples from the island, even just to say they're posing for Harvey's. Um... Oh, oh, thank you, Lexi. <laughs> All right, Lexi, thank you very much. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate that. We'll say that like it's part of uh, the overarching theme here. Sheldon, <laughs> Sheldon and Julian. Oh, Science made it! Thank you, Paint Seagull. Thank you so much for looking that up. So Science, one of our amazing community members, made some new turtle patterns that I definitely want to use. All right. And Lexi, Lexi, Lexi. Somewhere. Oh, Lexi, thank you! So this is from June's Seashell by the Seashore Shop. I very much appreciate that. That's adorable. I'm going to contribute something to June in the future to say that she got the payment. Let me top off the last of it right over here. Julian and Sheldon. Thank you guys very much for tea time, Eminem Ranger and Starnova. We could have a fun time like voting on our favorite ships of the day. And we also have a ton of amiibo cards. So if you have a favorite that you want to ship with somebody, we can make up whole weddings. What if we could even do like photo ops where we do like wedding drama, like a wedding getting crashed. <laughs> that would be really cute. It's going to be fun to see uh, what happens. Let's withdraw some bells, but it'll be fun to see what we can do with the wedding event. It's gonna happen during June, kind of like the stamp rally was just here. I miss Pierce too on, don't worry, we have his amiibo card though. Sheldon and Tiffany. <gasps> what if Tiffany, what if we just did a bunch of pictures with Tiffany, like marrying a whole bunch of villagers, mostly so she can get their insurance. <laughs> like a little black widow, oh my gosh. Stealing the, Kitty and Red? <gasps> And what if Tiffany, what if it's Kitty and Red and Tiffany busting the wedding? That would, that would be hilarious. Oh, also nobody go in this left room, please. I forgot to block it again. I, I really need to block that. <laughs> and Pierce and Sheldon are Wildberries, Batman and Robin. Absolutely, Miss Rose, absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and craft ourselves a money floor. Let's craft. Just so that we can say we've done it. Uh, and also just so that it's available for all of Harvey's photo ops. Until you craft something, it won't be available for the photo ops. So you have to hold it either as a catalog item or you have to craft it if it's a DIY recipe that you haven't held. All right, there we go. 50,000 bells. We've stolen quite a bit from Tiffany's mail for like the tips that Kitty and Red, AKA all of you amazing people, have sent through the mail. Uh, so this feels okay. It feels fair to go ahead and spend some of the money that we've been given on a little role play twist like this. There we go. Look at that money. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Wow. Wow. Should we put it up in the attic? What if it was once Tiffin Red, but then Kitty stole him away? <gasps> Gasp! Paige, we, we are the thieves. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shay. Yeah, our island has grown so much. And yet at the same time, it remains the beautiful mess that it is. However, we're cleaning it up today, which is quite exciting. All right, nobody's in the house, so I can actually, I'm gonna try dropping this over here. There, now nobody can go into the secret room and find out my secret that a few of you guys accidentally found out. And I know it looks concerning, but I promise you it's it's for a project. All right, just for today, we're going to go ahead and put down the money floor. <laughs> oh, neighborhood dragon, thank you so much. Shaylin, welcome, welcome to the nest. Let me go ahead and uh, while we totally not in a suspicious manner, here, I'm going to change into my detective outfit for just a second. Look, I know how this looks, but I promise all of you, we didn't steal this. This is just, this is just part of the investigation. Absolutely just part of the investigation. <laughs> welcome, Lexi, welcome, welcome. I, this looks bad, it's not, I promise, I promise. And Shaylin, let me pull up a bird for you, my wonderful friend, or at least a, a wildlife animal of some variety. Um, and I'm just gonna dive in at random to my folders and see what we find. And right now we have this guy. I don't even remember what species this bird is, uh, but this is another Taiwanese bird. And uh, we're in the money, right, Lexi? <laughs> but I promise it's, it's legitimate funds. I didn't steal any of this. Someone else stole it first. I just investigated it out of their possession for research investigation. <clears throat> uh, but this bird, Shaylin, is a really cool bird. It was like, it's bigger than a blue jay and it was all over the place in, in Taipei. And it really was very clever. It acted just like a blue jay, getting into things, being able to like wiggle into people's lunches when they turned away. Uh, it was constantly like chasing the other birds, not in a mean way, but in that kind of playful way that blue jays do. I need to look up what it's called. One of the tricks about when we were in Taiwan is that we would learn the Chinese name and the like American name for birds and they kind of got muddled a little bit for me also for the record the chinese names are almost hands down a lot cooler than the american names because <laughs> they have more of a like poetic definition like five color bird is called like i don't know swanson's parakeet in english how boring <laughs> but welcome welcome to the nest thank you very much neighborhood dragon uh and yeah i know toast if pierce came back this would look so bad <gasps> Congratulations on the mantis, Lexi! Congratulations! But alright guys, so I'm gonna grab some tea really quickly. Uh, I'm gonna wiggle down here. Lexi, that's an amazing mantis. It's sky and a ring! Sky ring! Okay, you know what? I think we're gonna just have to pair like everybody who is on the island together over like all of June and Pride Month and just see the various pairings because I think that would be precious. All right. Let me step out here, and I actually need to make some fresh tea really quickly. But since we just had such a fun kitty investigation, I'm gonna see where's my where's the closest villager to keep an eye on. Anybody looking suspicious, friends? So far, nobody's sus. Gnu's not sus. There's Sky. All right, defend Mama Sky, my friends. Make sure she doesn't get into any trouble, She or like be troubled. And I'll be right back as I turn on the security cameras and leave all of you to protect Mama Sky and maybe ponder about how she's feeling. What, what's her day like? What's she thinking? Uh, while I go ahead and grab some more tea. So one second. All right.
Diego, did someone kidnap her? I turn away for like two minutes and Mama Sky goes missing. <laughs> Hi guys, oh no, shh, what, what? Why is there shh? <laughs> you guys are trying to figure out what I'm hiding. <laughs> Look, it's nothing suspicious. Nothing more suspicious than what's up in the, the attic at least. <laughs> oh my gosh, Shh. Oh, what have you guys been up to? What the heck? All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure it out. I don't, I don't have the means at the moment, but I'm gonna have to figure out what you, all of you have been up to whilst I was away getting water, uh, which is currently boiling to make some more delicious tea. All right, let's see some other things that we can find to maybe tidy up the island. Oh, and I need to change back into my little litter bug. Oh, good catch, good catch, Lexi. Wonderfully done. You are definitely like hunting for a lot of the bugs. You were talking, Cole. <laughs> we were talking about how much we love you, Siri. Hmm. Thanks, guys. I'll remember that. And hey, Mandy. Oh, I hope you've been having a good time. I know it feels like it's been forever. Oh, heck. Here we go. Uh, but actually, it's only been a little bit uh, since we have streamed. It's only been three days, but it feels like so much. All right, Scorpio, lucky for you, past chat has actually drifted away from me, but I'm gonna figure out what all of you are up to. Also, I don't know if somebody's coming or going or what's happening. Wild Cookie Wishes, what a wonderful name. We have somebody coming? Oh, Ryan, hey, it's Smaggle Taggle, guys. One of our mods, welcome, Smaggle. <gasps> On a Puddles and Meringue shipper now, oh my gosh. You know what, we'll just have to like pair them all up and then see who looks freaking adorable together. Cause I think that would be a cute little thing to do for Pride Month. Smaggle. Oh, I know, right? All the pairings. <sighs> oh. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about cleaning up all of the litter that we have found thus far. Oh, cool backlog, you just got a colorful wheel? Oh, yay, Ryan, welcome. Welcome to the Wild Berry Adventures. Please feel free to walk around and tour. It's just a tidy up day. I need to turn back into a litter bug in just a second. Exactly, even like having an ace or or like a, a uh, aromantic pairing, non-pairing would be really fun. Who would be, I feel like that might be Sky. No, no, I want my hungry, hungry caterpillar. But I'm never ever going to forget when Sky was just like, eat the rich, like out of the blue. <laughs> and we were all like, what just happened? Oh, that was amazing. Oh, my pockets are full. Okay, let me drop this. Oh, science! Someone requested a Thumbelina dress and it has been delivered. Oh my gosh, science. Okay, let me check that out in our Discord really quickly, guys. Because I think science was just working their design magic again. Yay! Okay, one second. Dun, dun. Oh! Star Nova! Hey! <laughs> hey, Siri, as someone who is a part of the LGBTQ plus community, it means so much to always hear you being so supportive and also treating it as normal. Thanks for all you do. Of course, of course. We actually talked last stream about how I used to live in, um, how I used to live in Austin and uh, helped out at a house where we ran a, I wouldn't say like, where we ran... I want to say this as diplomatically and like kindly and not dramatic as possible. We, we, we ran a little bit of kind of like a, a landing spot for people uh, who needed a wee bit of help way back when. Like if they had parents who were being a little rude and they needed somewhere to go for the night, uh, that was... <gasps> That was what we would get up to. Also, lasagna apparently made an appleton? An appleton turtle? Oh my gosh, hang on guys. We've got some really great designs over here. And science, where did you put the, yeah, it's a house for in need youth. That's a perfect way to put it, Lavissa. We were also youth ourselves. Cause I mean, I was only like 22, 23, but a lot of the kids who would come and stay with us sometimes for the night, sometimes for a couple weeks um, to get away from like not so great situations back at home. Uh, like a lot of them were younger than us. So 
it really was kind of a case of like kids helping kids when I look back on it, but it was the right thing to do. But I will save that for another time because science, where, oh, where? Sable and Tom Nook, I need to, British lemur. Where could I find the thing that you were just talking about, my friend? Let's see. Science, science, science. I have, Shaylin. I do have a picture of a secretary bird. And Blaze Quakes, thank you for the tea time. Oh, oh, it's up, up, up. Oh, I see, I see. Oh my gosh, science! It was up in the live stream chat. Oh my word, you guys. Wait till you see the amazing talents that have just come out from, from over here. What the heck? All right, so you guys may remember I was just talking about the Thumbelina dress and how Lexi's amazing dress reminded me of the Thumbelina beetle outfit, which, you know, we're talking about bugs today and being the litter bug. Well, behold, my friends, because science... Oh my gosh, I need to resize it. Hang on. Science went ahead and pulled off a design miracle. Ryan, are you just having fun jumping holes over there? Uh, but science went on, pulled off a design miracle and check that out. That's amazing. If there were not people over, I can't use the, the station for, for designs when people are visiting, but if there were not people over, I would take that dress and I have a little hat and I'm going to make that my new bug outfit. Thank you very much, science. That's perfect. I'm going to call it beetle queen. <laughs> And one second, I'm going to pour my hot water for my tea, my friends. Talk about, like, an amazing turnaround, science. Holy cow. go. Poured some peach tea and some fresh mint tea. Thank you guys for waiting. I haven't chit-chatted with you for so long. My little voice is trying to get used to it all again. All right. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Science. And apparently Science also ended up creating a really nice, um, a really nice style of drag marks for the turtles that I need to dig up. And also lasagna made an apple ton. I am, we should put the apple ton over by Meringue's place under an apple tree. What if Wildberry attracts some native species of apple tons that just hang out under apple trees and eat apples. And they're a really odd subspecies of turtle thing that nobody has ever seen before. <laughs> and that would be so much fun. I'm going to put an apple ton, which is from, uh, which is from Pokemon Sword and Shield under our apple trees. That's, that's wonderful. Thank you, Lasagna. Heckin! Also, what the heckin? What? <laughs> what is this? My pockets are full. Ryan, did you just give this to me? I was so busy talking about things. Get out of my pocket, tree branch. I have a wistful painting to look at. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go. Thank you. If that was you, Ryan, I think it was you. The heck? Is this, is this? Oh my gosh. Run for it. I've got to see it in the house. Man, you just let some friendly people on your island and the next thing you know, everybody is just like scuttering around, leaving you gifts. It, oh, it's the haunted version? Oh. Thank you! We have a haunted painting, friends! To the attic! That's the best place to put haunted paintings, after all. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. All right, let's go ahead and place this item down. Okay, wait, did you guys hear that? It's gonna get a little loud for a second.
the money crunch is underfoot. The details. The heckin' details. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, also, on hey! I'm not normally into TED Talks, except science ones, but there was one, I really hope one day you will watch Siri, and it's called Love No Matter What by Andrew Solomon. It talks about people with both physical differences and non-neurotypical people. <laughs> hey now, it's totally normal, no panicking. Uh, and people with both physical differences and non-neurotypical people and the culture they find while others attempt to fix them. One of the things he says that I have made to a personal mantra is, I don't believe in, a, in subtractive models of love, only additive ones. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Also, Lexi, I am so impressed by your butterfly catching skills. I love that. And I think that's a great way to put it is that it's it's an additive aspect of love uh not a subtractive aspect all right so how do i know this painting's haunted by the way all right all right like what happens what happens with this painting when it's haunted this is actually a scary painting to think about it being haunted too does it something happen at night Actually, now I'm a little spooked to have it in my attic. <laughs> like, am I going to just forget that it's haunted and like walk in later and her face is going to just be like terrifying? Because that would be like, would it blink? Does it blink? <laughs> I didn't know you came in the attic. I thought I was alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. The haunted smaggle. <laughs> it doesn't make any sound when someone walks in your room. So suddenly there was just pume. Smaggle. So, okay, so every few hours it blinks. That is gonna be amazing to see. Thank you so much. I am so excited to see what happens with this. Oh my gosh. I know, Smaggle just jump scared me. Oh, that's awesome. Man, I can't believe what a like detective day it has been yet again. And then, <laughs> all right, let's tidy some of these things up. Let's drop this. Oh, I can't drop it right now, that's fine. All right, let's put away some of these. And then fifth dragonfly, Lexi, you are gonna just walk out of here like the bug queen. That is amazing. I think I already have enough sunset moth. Let me check really quickly. Uh, okay, we have three great purple emperors now. And I have at least three Madagascan sunset moths. Good. The tiger beetle, I don't think I have any of those. So I'm gonna store him in our clumps of weeds. And I'm gonna store the wood for now. We can go be a little termite later. Because I do need a lot more wood. And today is tidy up and prep day. I'll put the tricycle away. I wanted to see what it looked like since um, Moraine gave it to us. There we go. While we're here, I should probably go ahead and make a uh, balloon blaster as well. So we can shoot the balloons, not Octavian, down from the sky. Oh, hey, look at this. There was one literally right there. Oh, Ryan, congratulations on the rainbow fish. Heckin'. I know, Scorpio. <laughs> you, thought, I, you thought, would it blink? Smaggle comes in front of the painting and blinks for it. Oh, that's so cool. The fake scary paintings creep me out. I put them in my bathroom. Oh, Katie. Oh, that sounds amazing. Heckin'. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff here. You people are amazing. <gasps> Look at that! Beautifully done! A peacock butterfly. Wonderfully done, Lexi. Wonderfully done. I am so tickled. All right, let me clean up these. We are the litter bug after all. What the heck? The litter bug just heard the jingle jingle of more... What? <laughs> thank you. You guys literally don't have to do that, just so you know. But thank you very much. Um, the litter bug will happily eat these bells. Om um, nom nom. <laughs> thank you guys. You guys are so freaking kind. Oh my gosh. Literally. I know, right? Also, was that a peacock butterfly? 
No, it was a tiger butterfly. Also amazing, but I don't need to panic quite as much about picking- What the heck? <laughs> Lexi! <laughs> You guys, thank you. I will consider those donations to the good of Wildberry Island. You never have to leave gifts or anything, but I understand where the the kindness comes from. All right, let me wiggle over here. We're gonna we're gonna okay, good. There's mom cushions for other people. This is just like a peaceful spot for me to catch my breath and open up some of these presents real quick. All right, let me make sure I'm not missing out on what you guys are talking about and check my tea. Oh. I'm so happy to be back with all of you. I hope you're having a good night. This is this is a heckin' interesting night. I didn't expect to be obsessed with bugs lately. <gasps> is there a good Sir David Attenborough documentary where I could perhaps listen to his words of wisdom as he tells me about bugs? Because I am a very big Sir David Attenborough fan. In fact, do I have my picture? Let's see. I'm pretty sure. All right, I'm gonna have to find where I put it, but somewhere in my house, I have a little coaster that uh, is Sir David Cattenborough, and it's a little cat drawn in Sir David Attenborough's uh, like likeness. <laughs> I need to find it for you. I did miss you guys. Oh my gosh! Zergat, you've had Animal Crossing for three days. Tonight, you found Snapper Island and caught three in the space of 10 minutes. I am so envious. It has taken everything I have to open or to find just one snapping turtle. All right, let's go ahead and open some of these up. That's amazingly lucky. Oh, and gentlemen, you, you just caught the oarfish. Congratulations. Are you here on my island doing that? Oh, and what's this? So we're opening up some of the gifts. Wait, what? Pardon? Did someone just leave Julian's dishware on my 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 island outside? There are golden dishes. Ursula, don't look at me like that. I promise I am on the up and up. I promise. <laughs> I have a floor made out of money. People are just throwing coins, bags of coins at my feet. And now we have golden dishes. When Pierce comes back, I don't think it's going to be Tiffany. He's going to be investigating, like investigating for fraud and for like, for illegal sales. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else is in here. <laughs> Cause this is amazing. All right. A menu chalkboard, perfect for our wonderful meringue. I can't wait to finally get a chance to decorate her area. Bamboo wall decoration. I really want to see what that looks like. We've also got mangrove wall. I love the mangrove wall. It's one of my favorites. One day it'll be fun to have maybe like another fish, small fish competition. And people can do, um, like maybe we'll line up by the river and the people who catch the most of a certain small fish will win. That would be really fun. I loved the frog catching competition we did and I would love to try to do something like that at least once monthly. Um, once monthly is probably plenty for that kind of intensity. But we'll think about that because that was hilariously awesome. Oh, girl with the game, thank you. So the pink presents, oh, the pink presents are from you and they include the golden dishes. Thank you so much. My imagination is that they're literally just Julian's dishware. Our boy Julian. Oh, I can't wait to see what the dishes look like. Mossy garden wall. I don't think I have that one yet. I can't wait to see what it looks like. <gasps> Neighborhood dragon. The heck. Congratulations. <laughs> Do you want to come over tonight? Hey, Toby. Thank you so much for the tea time. I'm going to see if my mint tea is cool enough to drink. And Nat, good night. Good night. Sleep well, Nat. It is not cool enough to drink. Don't drink that, Siri. You'll regret it. Oh, yes! Band room bat shark catching competition. Absolutely. Absolutely has to happen. That would be so amazing. And if we all do it right up, like on the beach together and throw a fish bait, then we'll be able to make sure that everybody's catching the sharks like here. But there's gonna be so many sharks coming next month. It's gonna be awesome. And oh my gosh, 
Neighborhood Dragon, would you like to come over tonight? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so mods, if you guys could toss Neighborhood Dragon uh, the dodo code, then come on over and catch some bugs with us. Also, what the heck? More, more litter. The litter bug will eat this. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for your gifts. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead. Here, I'm going to drop something and I'll open this one up right now. All right, what's this one? I'm curious. All right, what do we have? What's this smog? <gasps> a frog model! Is this another, what? <laughs> another frog model? Thank you! Holy heckin'! Like, what the heck? Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Now we have another frog to kiss. You guys know what happens when I kiss the frog, right? This is what happens when you kiss the frog that we have, the frog prints that we have here. He actually turns you into royalty. He's got a reverse curse on him. Instead of being like kissed and turning back into royalty, when people kiss him, they don't break his curse. They just turn into royalty. That's gonna be really fun. But now we have another frog model. Thank you so much. Oh, librarian. You just thought of something. Use all of the tree scenery wallpapers as as the ground floor walls, mangrove, forest, jungle, etc. Then have a basement be the excavation site floor and your top floor can be a tree house. <gasps> I'm definitely going to do that. I love that idea. Right now it's a surveillance center, but the idea of it being a tree house, once things calm down a little bit with Tiffany and Red and Kitty is just delightful. That would be so fun. Smaggle Daggle, you're still salty and I know it. I promise next time we will let you redeem yourself. You'll be on the top of the list to come back and Chips and I will stay far away from walking near your fish. <laughs> tree houses are kind of like surveillance rooms. That's true. I do think tree houses are surveillance rooms. Thank you, Smaggle. I would love to know if you have a name for this frog. Six Dragonfly, congratulations, Lexi. You are the bug catching queen today. Well, thank you, Paige. I will be happy to look through that. Right now I'm gonna just like clean up the island, but for mail day, whew, mail day, I've learned my lesson. It'll just be mail. And a hand knit tank. Oh, what does it look like? I can't wear it right now. I'm, I'm, I do have too much stuff on me. A Kung Fu tea. I really wanna dress Sheldon in that right now. That sounds amazing. A giant ribbon. Ah, oh, I can't change clothes because I'm transformed. That's right. Oh my gosh. A fairy dress. Then we've got a young royal shirt, Slippy Toad. <laughs> Slippy Toad sounds amazing, Smaggle. I like that idea. Slippy Toad, you're, you're here with me. He'll be the toad that got away. A snazzy pansy reef. <gasps> it goes on the door. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what that looks like. You guys, thank you so much. A cutting board. Heckin', look at all of these gifts. Then ironwood cupboard, cupboard, parted. An ironwood item. <gasps> thank you. What the heck? What's this? It's more litter. The litter bug will eat this too. <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> thank you for the gifts. <laughs> heckin'. Man, the, this little litter bug, I don't even know what she's gonna trans- She's gonna transform into a butterfly. Not an apple ton. I mean, she's eating enough that she could transform into an apple ton. But before the end of the night, my friends, the hungry, hungry caterpillar litter bug will transform into a beautiful beetle. I love it. Uh, a beautiful beetle queen. That's perfect. Oh. I love how your guys' creativity just creates such an amazing experience. I know, right on? Oh, I'm so happy. An upright piano, oh my gosh. I can't believe this, a woodland wall. I don't think I have the woodland wall yet. I can't wait to see this. One of the beautiful plants. Uh, that's the one that kind of looks like a peace lily that I love very, very much and use to decorate. Traditional tea set for our tea day and a peach umbrella. Are you kidding me? Look at this! It's so cute! Heckin' Ursula, what do you think? Are you guys having a good day? I hope they're having a good day. They're staring at each other. All right, let's drop it. I have no room. Thank you guys so much. I don't even have enough room for all the gifts and there's more. Okay, let me open this up. All right, what do we have here? 
just dropped right at the litter bug's feet. Hack! An orange hat! <gasps> oh, I can't change clothes while I'm transformed. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm gonna put these away so that we have some more room to continue. What the, what is this? What is this? More food for the litter bug? <laughs> you people are gonna make her so full. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all of the kind gifts. I can't wait to go through everything. I don't even, I'm not even gonna recognize my storage anymore. Have you guys ever had like a Christmas or a birthday where people really gave you quite a few things and you're super humbled and blown away by it? And then you put it all in your room and you leave the room and you come back and you're like, I don't recognize this place anymore. <laughs> That's what it feels like when you're just that excited. Also, what do these look like? Um, pardon? Is that a DIY or can I like buy those? Cause this is kind of epic. <laughs> oh my gosh. On, oh, you've been humbled by many a birthday. That's so wonderful. Nom 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 litter bug. Lovisa, that's adorable. Someone has a hole in their wallet and they're walking around Wildberry. <laughs> Oh, Judy just taught it to you, Fox. <gasps> I cannot wait to learn that DIY. I love that there's still DIYs that I don't know. All right, let me go ahead and put a few of these away. And there's a young royal shirt. Uh, let me let me put that away really quickly so we can see what the young royal shirt that sounds like it would match with it looks like. I love how much stuff, oh my gosh. All right, I was gonna say Julian, but this kind of screams puddles to me, to be honest. What do you guys think? Should we give this to Puddles? Because I think she would be really precious in it. Puddles, right? Tiffany cut a hole in Julian's pocket. Oh, I love that, Cole. I love that. And Julian should uh, give, give those to Moraine for her cafe. <gasps> Cyber, that would be so sweet. Oh, science, I am so content. I can't think of anything at the moment for designs. Um, Maybe like a shark. I I don't know how one would design a shark. How would you do shark? Or maybe like shark teeth or something for shark catching competition? How would you dress if you were going to have a shark catching competition? Question mark, question mark, question mark. And we will definitely give that to Puddles because that is absolutely precious. Thank you guys so much for all of the gifts. Heckin, come here, Slippery. Come here, Slippy Frog. You're gonna hang out with me, buddy. Oh, hey, hey, Eilisha, welcome, welcome to the adventures. Oh, heck, oh my gosh. I forgot how cute the frog model is. Oh, I'm in love. I love him. Look at his face. Look at his face. I love these. Wear one of the sushi outfits. A bucket hat with little sharks on it. Oh, Shay, that sounds so cute. Like a shark fin. CJ is always saying we need more fish sonas. That is right, librarian. That is right. And science, I would love to see your version of a shark because that would be really fun. Oh, I can finally drink my tea. That makes me so happy. Oh, guys, I am so happy and not because of the stuff. Uh, though the stuff is quite wonderful and gleeful as well, but I am just so freaking happy to be back with all of you. Like, winding down at night and hanging out with all of you, it really has become such a wonderful part of my days. And I'm so grateful anytime you guys are able to pop on in and hang out with us. Seventh Dragonfly, Lexi, that's amazing. All right, let me go ahead and put this in storage. Also, I'm not sure, uh, Neighborhood Dragon, if you got the link, but if you need the dodo code and still want to come, just let me know. And if you're cool, that's cool. You can always save that for another time. All right, fairy dress. We're gonna keep the young royal shirt and give it to Puddles. And what does the woodland wall look like? Oh, that's this one! <gasps> this one is very jungly. I very much like it. Oh, wait, and actually, speaking of things on the walls, I need to actually check really quickly. Anthurium plant. I kind of want to give that to a villager today. Maybe we'll find a good villager to give that to. 
Traditional tea set. I kind of want to give that to Sky. Can I place this item? Oh, Neighborhood Dragon, you haven't gotten the code yet? Oh, I am so sorry. Here, let me go ahead and send you the code, friend. Oh, oh, hey! Oh my gosh, some bird or something just went flying. <laughs> Seraphina of Fire, welcome, welcome to the adventures. Let me go ahead and pull up an awesome burb for you. And then I, Neighborhood Dragon, I apologize. Always feel free to like yelp at me or a mod if I dwindle on that. But Seraphina of Fire, let me go ahead and, and you know what? I'm feeling so happy. I'm just going to share a nice picture of another unexpected animal. Not a bird in the nest, but since we're hanging out in the folder that has all my Taiwan pics from Taiwan, and because we have already seen the wonderful bird, here's Boss being his old self. <laughs> There's Boss right there. All right, let me see if I can snag. Dun, 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 dun. All right. And then dive on in. And welcome, and then... Seraphina. Ah, no, shh, Mish. All right, let's see. I need to find. Oh, neighborhood dragon, you're our, you're in our Discord. What am I doing? There we go. All right, neighborhood dragon. And I sent it to you on Discord, which will hopefully work. <laughs> and if you need it on uh, Twitch, just let us know. Also, welcome, friend. Welcome back in. There we go. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited. We're having a special just like bug day and litter bug day. And Scorpio, let me catch up on what you're saying. I know like everyone says this, but I just wanted to say I love this community. Everyone always welcomes everyone. They're always cheerful and like to share their creative thoughts. It makes me feel better always. And I always rewatch live streams, even though I know it's not live. Just want to say thank you to everyone in this community for making me feel better, Scorpio! <laughs> thank you! <laughs> Oh, and welcome wildlife researcher Sarah Ross from Orange Tree. Welcome to the adventures. And thank you very much, Scorpio. That's what I mean. Like, even though everything's been so hectic in the world, somehow carving out this space and this community and just being here with you guys for our wildlife adventures on Wildberry, all of its silliness, it just makes me feel like we have somewhere good that we can come to, we can unwind, relax, share passions removed from the troubles of the world with each other, and hopefully be able to go forth uh, feeling a little stronger. And welcome. Welcome, Sarah. I freaking love your outfit. I do. Just like chips last week. And then let me catch up. Uh, and Brooke in a book. We do not have a bug catching tourney yet, but I absolutely want to do that. Absolutely. Oh, and what is the uh, disc channel? Let's see. The Discord? The Discord, we, we have a little bit, uh, like, the link is down in Nightbot right there. And, oh, Lexi, did I give Cranston the tuna sushi costume? Let me check really quickly, because if I didn't, I totally need to. That would be a good outfit for him. I, I, I feel too bad to give him the egg sushi costume. Just saying. Because, you know, he's a bird. But I do want to give him the other sushi costume so he can wear <laughs> whatever sushi he wants to. All right, where did it go? We have so much stuff now. I'm going to need to do a little bit of tidying. Just saying. All right. I feel like a sushi costume should leap out at me. And here's Tiffany's outfit right over here, the chick tuxedo dress. I can't wait to wear that one day. Spacesuit. The Tuna Sushi costume right here! All right, I'll give this to Cranston today because that's perfect for him. All right, we'll grab that. Do I have anything else I need to put away? Peach umbrella, cutting board, and the pansy reef, which I can't put up yet. All right, let me catch up. I know, isn't that such a cute ducky? This duck is bug friendly. Oh, neighborhood dragon. <laughs> All right, there we go. What the heck? <laughs> I 
love how our litter bug goes into the house like like a little catus fly or something like that, which if you guys don't know is a species of bug that collects debris and makes the most amazing cool little houses around itself. It's literally a bug that builds its own house, which I think is fantastic. But we go into the house, we empty all our pockets, we're like, we got this, we come back out. And there is more for the litter bug to eat. What on earth? Thank you guys. You don't have to, absolutely. But it will help wild berry grow and I appreciate that. Oh, what the heck? There's more stuff. Holy moly. Hungry, hungry litter bug away. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. All right, what do we have over here? Nom, nom, nom. What the heck? <laughs> nom, 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 thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, neighborhood dragon. Diner neon clock for our diner that we're building. Lexi's over here clapping. We've got more litter to nom 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 up over here. No, I picked a flower. That's okay. I'm a bug. It happens. All right, more over there. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's go ahead and open these. See what's in here. So we have our diner neon clock. And then we have a couple more things that got left out for the litter bug. A cherry! Oh, that's perfect for our little litter bug. All right, what else is she going to eat tonight? A shell stool, thank you, thank you so much. We can add a new turtle to our seashores and a tuna sushi costume. <laughs> there we go, another tuna sushi costume. Who should who should Cranston have sushi with today? Cause we can give somebody else a tuna sushi costume. Something fishy at Tiffany's. What's going on at Tiffany's now? Let's go find out. Check behind Tiffany's, uh oh. There's multiple people telling me to check behind Tiffany's house. What? <laughs> okay. What the heck? Okay, now Tiffany is just leaving money lying around. But if she got into this whole problem with a gambling problem, maybe this shouldn't surprise us. All right. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are just so wonderful. You're tickling me to pieces. Octavian? <gasps> So do you think that Octavian and um, Cranston might be sushi buddies? Because one of Octavian's dreams is actually to become a fisherman. That's actually his like Wikipedia, like actual Animal Crossing entry is that he wants to become a fisherman. Tiffany is so sus. So sus, I agree. We're just finding money behind her house and the sus part of us keeping it is not sus, I promise. Totally normal. All right, let's leave a shell turtle. Uh, maybe over here? I worry about putting so many shell turtles next to Tiffany's place, though. Let's actually leave a shell turtle over by Cranston's side of the island. I think that's a good idea. Ooh, and there's little seashells everywhere. There we go. Man, there's seashells all over the place! Om nom nom! Om nom 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 nom! Om nom diatom, for those of you guys who remember the R Spore series. All right, let me wiggle this way. Uh, well, you know, uh, octopi are often cannibalistic to each other. I don't think that's the case in Octavian's case, of course. I don't want to make such rude assumptions, um, but I I think that it's normal for him to eat fish. If you think about it, in the ocean, what else is there for you to eat? Oh, and I can't place the shell stool right now while company is over. Don't tell Zucker. Zucker is adorable. It's the haggle daggle. <laughs> what are you doing? I added those to spice up the island, not as a food commodity. <laughs> Thank you for the seashell smaggle. I'll put them back. I'll put them back. <laughs> Thank you, smaggle. <laughs> the, the hungry, hungry litter bug knows no bounds. She can chew through anything. We were teasing Cranston for making sand smoothies earlier, and I'm just chewing through like literal bags of money, um, gifts, seashells, fish bait, sticks. It means nothing to her hungry self. The final transformation will be definitely something to see. Uh, speaking of things I need to pick up though, hang on one second. All right, we're gonna jump this way. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Snaggle Daggle, actually, don't worry about it. I kind of stole most of them behind your back. 
<laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. All right, we're gonna pick up all of these fossils for now too, because even though we wanna leave some of them out next to our tar pit and decorate fossil, uh, our little fossil field, like our prehistoric peninsula is what I keep calling it in my head. I, I think that these bones are actually things that Isabel has been complaining about. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up a bunch of them and put them away for now. She doesn't like loose bones lying around the beach for some reason. Oh, Jeremac, thank you. You know, I'm always so like, just tickled when you guys say you like my laugh. Cause I think that's something beautiful to say to anybody that you like their laugh. I think we should all be able to say that more to other people. You know what I mean? Cause isn't there, I, I feel like that's one of those compliments that no matter who you say it to of any age, it, there's just something really beautiful about it. Because if you tell someone you like their laugh, I, I feel like they just get this little rush of like, oh, people like it when I'm happy. And I think that that's something special. Because it's such, can you think of any other way to tell someone I like it I, when you're happy? That really seems to like, get the message through because I really can't you could tell someone I like it when you're happy but that doesn't seem to come off the same way as when you say I love your laugh you know what I mean there's a difference there's a subtle difference there and I think it's quite a beautiful thing all right you know what let's save this Madagascan sunset moth and give it to one of our villagers too yeah it can come off as a little trite on it can come off as a little trite just to say I like it when you're happy um, and when you tell someone, I like your laugh, or I love your laugh, uh, I, I feel like it's just, oh, there we go. Somebody's probably heading home. Thank you so much for visiting. Yay. It's just a special thing. So maybe that's going to be one of my goals for the coming weeks is to be able to tell more people, I love your laugh. That sounds really nice. Oh, oh, mother night rain. She's a dog. They love bones. They make holes to put the bones away. I know, right? You would think that Isabel would be okay with us having a bunch of bones out, but she's a little picky about it. Oh, Miss, your friends are always telling you I have the cutest sneeze. That's adorable. I've been told that too, and I never know how to feel. Like, part of you is like, thanks, cool, I'm cute. And the other part of you is like, I just sneezed. Do you know, like, what a sneeze is? I, I mean, it's, I don't know how that's cute, especially not right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've heard that too. I think it's because it's like your squeaky toy noise. And thank you, Ryan. Thank you so much for stopping by and for all of the wonderful mod work that you do. Oh, and then backlog. I've been low-key trying to make the first DIY Nasora uh, you liked to see if I could find the right parts messing with the elevation a little. <gasps> That's so cool, backlog. I love the Brachiosaurus necks, but they're definitely really hard to turn into DIY dinosaurs. Fox Borks, you have the weirdest sneeze, though. Oh, girl of the game, you've been told more than once you have a contagious laugh. That's wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, you guys. I think that I like your laugh is a good test of, of knowing that you're hanging out with the right people. Hopefully. Or at least in that moment you are. All right, so let's go ahead and put more of these things away. I do want to give the flower to somebody today. I'm just, I'm feeling generous. I want to share some flowers. And we'll hatch the shell stool later tonight after everybody leaves. Uh, all right, and then these guys. I've got some money to put away. This is not suspicious. Absolutely not suspicious at all. <laughs> Tom Nook doesn't need to ask awkward questions as I continue to walk back in today with bags full of money to like slide one penny at a time, one bell at a time into the uh, automatic bell machine. He doesn't need to ask these questions. There we go. <laughs> British Labor, you've been told your hiccups sound like a frog croaking. Oh my gosh. And Lavissa, you've been told you sneeze like a mouse. That's so cute. I get really bad hiccups and it's always a struggle when I hiccup because I actually get dizzy and I I feel like I'm going to pass out and I never do, but I can't breathe very well when I hiccup. So Chips has to come up with all of these elaborate ways to try to like spook me or give me enough water and like help me hold my nose while I drink it to get rid of my hiccups. 
but it can get so bad that I get dizzy and have to lie down so I can focus on breathing when I hiccup. So there's been so many times when he's like in the middle of like a WoW game or, or he's in the middle of playing shoot butts with his friends and all of a sudden he'll be like, hold the line boys. Sage has got hiccups again. <laughs> and then he has to like jump up while he's like in the middle of pew, 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 and like plug my ears for me and help me while I hold my nose and plug my ears and drink water so I don't pass out from hiccups. <laughs> but fun fact that always works. If we can like cover my ears and like hold my breath and drink water, like a whole cup of it all at the same time, I get rid of my like debilitating hiccups. Just a little FYI. Yeah, I wish I could just drink a few sips of water too, Smaggle, and just finish, finish with my hiccups. But they're a little, they're a little fussy. Also, did I have a message over here? <gasps> you guys, there was a bunch of messages from last time. Oh, Annie, I know you're probably still with dinner with your family, but thank you. Oh, heckin'. Oh, there's little hearts, Jazz. Thank you. I hadn't seen these yet, Shauna. Oh, I'm gonna. <gasps> Present by Cranston's house is a snack for him. I had a great time. Oh, Matt, thank you. You guys are so kind. Heckin', thank you. Evie, you've been told you laugh like a hyena. <laughs> That's so wonderful, Lexi. Congratulations on the dragonfly. Well, I will say this. Um. Okay, I'm gonna say this with all of the love in my heart, and it's something we talk about in my family a lot. So don't take this like the wrong way and think I just said that it's really wonderful when you, I, I love her laugh. I love her laugh. I absolutely adore her laugh. But I have a great aunt who laughs like a witch, cackles. Literally like she stepped out of a Disney movie and when she laughs, it's an actual cackle. I remember thinking that's what the witch from Sleeping Beauty must sound like when I was really little. And the whole family acknowledges this. She acknowledges this. It's a family joke that she takes with very good humor. Um, and <laughs> especially because her birthday is near Halloween. <laughs> so we make a lot of jokes about it. But she literally sounds like a Disney villain witch cackling when she laughs. It's amazing. Like, I need to catch it on, on like, camera sometime just to remember forever. Uh, but we do have a, a family member who has quite the laugh, now that I think about it. All right. Oh, and Cookie, well, like, rest well, rest well. Oh, heck, it's so fun to just be wandering around the island and bump into people. <gasps> Twining vines! Oh gosh, Siri, my grandma and aunt both cackle and my granny jokes about it all the time. I may or may not have inherited a lesser version of it. I know, right? Like it is a legitimate cackle. I, I, I'm I, not making fun of her. Yay, can you? I'm so happy you're here and so happy you're happy. And Scorpio Angel, my friends say I laugh like a witch a lot, but I feel like it has its perks on being born on Halloween. <gasps> you're born on Halloween too? Oh my gosh, can you? Heckin, congratulations. That is your first long boy. Oh, congratulations, congratulations on the aura fish. That's amazing. <laughs> I am super impressed. I can't wait to do some fishing on your island. And Scorpio, my mom is actually born on Halloween. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. And yeah, like it is something that I hope can come across as nice. <gasps> oh, science, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the shark outfit. I'm gonna check it on Discord just now. Heckin' science, thank you! Let me see if I can find it. Um, you can, you can totally at me wherever it has managed to go off. Uh, dun dun dun! All right, science, I see you typing. <gasps> science may have created a shark for shark catching, you guys. Of course, I hope you all know that I do not condone shark catching in real life and all of the sharks that we will catch uh, in our wild berry adventures are for research and tagging purposes only. I actually happen to follow many, many sharks on Twitter that have been tagged with geolocating tags and they just show like where Mary, the great white shark, swims around all the time. It's so cool. 
Oh, thank you, science. I'll enter that code later tonight um, when everybody pops off the island. Because I know you, you can't take a picture because you have a no phone policy right now. Totally cool. All right, slave. Let me check. Let me catch up. Let me catch up with everybody. And then Toast Plays. I remember laughing so hard when I was playing The Sims at 1 a.m. last night. My child elf sim just ate stale tofu tacos and they were in a different household. So I couldn't stop laughing about it. And I just laughed like a maniac. That's wonderful. I just love it when like something tickles your funny bone and you just burst out into laughter. A lot of things seem to make me laugh. Also, Angelique, well, sleep well, sleep well. And then on, I have a witch cackle occasionally that erupts from me, but usually when something, uh, but it's usually when something divine judgment-y happens. <laughs> it's a very particular laugh that only takes place in these instances and I love it. But yeah, full on manical laughter. <laughs> and Rainbow, I hope you enjoy your Animal Crossing adventures. I hope, I hope. And designs, thank you so much. I love your designs. I love seeing what you guys design in our community. It's just amazing. All right, let's continue to clean up the beach. Hungry, hungry litter bug still needs more food. And I'm hoping if we pick all of this up, then Isabel will be a little happier with us. So we'll have to see. Um, and on, links to what? I ended up rambling so much, I don't remember what you want links to. So I apologize for that. But I'm happy, happy to try to help. All right, let me climb up here and see if we have any litter hiding up where our fairy tale pond is. Up we go, up we go. <laughs> yeah, Mochi, when you laugh at 3 a.m., it is like like some sort of giggling hour has just descended upon you. Oh, and please nobody shake the bribery tree. Let's see. Oh yeah, the shark tagging. Yeah, if you look up like Twitter, Mary the Great White Shark, it should take you straight to like Mary's um, Twitter page if, if they still have her tagged. But it's just a really cool little niche community of scientists on Twitter where people tag the sharks for research and then share it publicly so people can keep an eye on where the sharks go. Oh, I'm being followed. Hey, Lexi. Oh, and Pudding, pudding Trub, so good to see you. By the way, someone once described hyacinths as pastel corn dogs, and they have become my favorite flower in Animal Crossing since. Oh my gosh, I love that. Friends, pastel corn dogs. I love it. Hey Yash, hey! Oh Lexi, you got stuck. Oh my gosh, yeah, pastel corn dogs. That sounds pretty appropriate. All right, so let's wiggle down here. Let's check for any other litter. But I actually think we may have picked up like all of the litter on Wildberry, which makes me very happy. And I think that means Isabel will be content with us tonight. And she'll tell us that there's not as much stuff just lying around anymore. Oh, stuff lying around. Om nom 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 nom. Oh, British Slammer, a poll for the best bug outfit. Let's see, I think like so far, Lexi and I are the only ones dressed as bugs, but we have a duck with neighborhood dragon. Um, so I'm gonna, you know what? Let's try a poll for like favorite bug. I would really love to know your guys' favorite bug in Animal Crossing. And I'm just gonna pick a few. So favorite bug. And then let's see. And <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I'm just writing down some random bugs I'm thinking of. Um, at random, let me let me think about another bug. And these are these are meant to be kind of a little bit of a joke. Um, but let me think. There. All right. So we have a poll right now. You guys can pick between five different random bugs that I just remembered off the top of my head. Is your favorite bug ants for the queen? Butterflies? 
Atlas Moth, Giant Water Bug with its terrifying fangs, or reminds me of my uncle, which happens to be Chips' favorite bug, because every time he catches one, he starts laughing and he's like, reminds me of my uncle, which is really quite funny. So they're just kind of some random ones listed. And the butterflies are so beautiful, Miss Rose. That's one of the reasons I set the clock to this time of day whenever we stream, because it's pitch black like outside. <gasps> the darn dragonfly! Get back here! I know you... Mm, you've escaped me this time, but I will catch you. I will catch you yet, friend. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Right, Lexi? I love so many of these in the poll. The Atlas Moth is definitely one of my favorites. Thank you so much for joining us, Neighborhood Dragon. I hope you had a good time. And the winner is the Atlas Moth, who is really hard to catch. How many of you guys have been running around and you just spook the atlas moths off the trees? Because that happens to me so often. And Brooke in a book. Wait, reminds me of my uncle as an actual bug? What does it look like? I thought it was a joke. There's a stink face or a stink bug called the man-faced stink bug. And every time you catch it, the catchphrase is, reminds me of my uncle. And every time Chips catches it, he just starts laughing so hard. He loves it. Oh, Puddles! We have an outfit for you, my dear. We have a lovely little royal outfit for you. Let's go ahead and give it to her. A oh, rutabaga! Hi there, my fabulous bestie. To be totes honest, this is the time of day when I get sleepiest. Oh, that's precious. That's precious, Puddles. Do you want to take a nap, like, under, uh, under a tree with this new outfit? Let's see what she does. It is pink, and she loves pink. The young royal shirt. Here you go, Puddles. I love how she's wearing the fairy dress. Are you like, for sure I can have this? I'm gonna try it on. Oh, she's so cute, especially with her glasses. And it's pink, so she loves it. Wait, what? <laughs> I thought it had to be an expensive item. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was gonna just give us like some random clothes. <laughs> you guys! We've got her photo! Oh my gosh! Like what the heck? <laughs> thank you, thank you guys. That's so awesome! Oh my goodness, it can be any item, it's just more likely if it's expensive. Thank you, pudding! Holy heck! Okay, all I can think is that Puddles was really excited that we're into fashion. We know her favorite color is pink and that we regard her enough that we would consider her a young royal star, perhaps. So this is very exciting. Oh my goodness, thank you. I know. Oh, okay, oh wait, wait, wait. Broken a book. Imagine in real life giving someone something and they say, here's my gift. Oh, thank you, Crystal Rose. Thank you, thank you. This is a big moment because this is one of the hardest items to get from any villager. And a stink bug. Excellently done, Lexi. Excellently done. <gasps> no, on, you're fine. Oh my gosh, please, on. <laughs> Don't, oh, British Leroy, thank you. I know, right? I'm so happy for bottles. <gasps> you guys. It happened when we gave her the young royal shirt. And you know who else is a royalty on this island? The frog prince. Oh, the darn dragonfly! Can you? Congratulations! That's a heckin' rare dragonfly, and I've been trying to catch his little butt all day. Congrats, can you? <laughs> Of course, he just flies behind me. That's so funny. Um, but thank you guys so much. So I'm thinking, what if Puddles actually has learned a little bit about the frog prince? And how about we say we got her picture after she kissed the frog prince and actually turned into like small royalty, uh, hoping her dreams would come true, just like in all of her magical girl movies that she watches. Uh, and maybe she has like a secret crush on the frog prince now. And, and we got her, her photo because we maybe know more about her heart. That's what, that's what I'm kind of going to go for. I don't know if it's a crush that she would stay loyal to forever. But because when you kiss the frog on our island, they transform you into royalty. 
I kind of wonder if she's like dreaming really big dreams and trying to find ways for those dreams to come true. Even if it involves kissing frogs. You know, she can do that. Kind of like kissing cousins, but hopefully not. <laughs> All right, let me, oh, what the heck? There's a bell over here. All right, so I kind of think that would be cute. I think maybe she's just dreaming big dreams with the frog friends. That's what I'm gonna say. All right, let's pick up all of this too, just to see if that helps with Isabel thinking we have litter on the island. Good job, Lexi. You are just like a bug catching queen today. I love it. Let's pull all these away. <laughs> oh, you have Prince Elvis on your island, Lavissa? That is so cute. The princess, the frog princess and the frog prince. I love it, Nature Claw. The princess and the frog frog. All right, let's put her picture up on the wall really quickly, if there's room. Might be a little tricky. We did it! Heckin'? So I think we know into her heart that it's not love as much as it's like she will do anything and be willing to open her heart up to whatever path it needs for her dreams to come true. Because I think Puddles might wander from Wildberry at some point in the future so that she can become a pop star, but then wander back just like Pierce. Uh, so it makes me feel really good that we got her photo. Cause I, I feel like maybe that might be the beginning of, maybe she can learn from the frog prince and go off and set forth on a journey. But can you imagine how funny that would be if the frog prince is like, yes, we're going to talk about magic and breaking curses, right? And Puddles is like, no, we're going to talk about becoming a pop star. <laughs> and she tries to become a pop star to break his curse. That would, that would be kind of like a crossover of genres that would be interesting to write. All right, let me put these things away real quick. Oh, thank you, Broken a Book. <laughs> I know, I know. I really wish Stacy could play too, but unfortunately, if you have a Switch Lite, then you can't stream uh, from Switch Lights. Otherwise, I would I would try to save up and just like grab a Switch Lite so we could have a second island already. No! I meant to put that apple away, but I was a hungry, hungry little caterpillar. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> uh, on puddles, only if we can use magic for pop star business. That would be really cute. I bet there's probably an anime out there where like they literally use magic to become famous pop stars. That that sounds like something you do. Congratulations, Lexi, 10th dragonfly. Dragonfly queen. Sailor Moon puddles. Actually, isn't that what Seller Venus did? Didn't Seller Venus like also become like a music icon <laughs> before she met up with Seller Moon? Didn't that happen? Didn't she use her powers that way as well? Because I'm pretty sure that's what Seller Venus did. Yeah, she did. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love how you guys are just cheering each other on. She totally did. Puddles is now Seller Venus. You can't change my mind. So she's, instead of having a cat to team up with, she's gonna have another frog that she just like keeps in her pocket. <laughs> I love that. So she might, she might leave us at some nearby point to become famous, break curses by moonlight, and also become a famous pop star. I love it. I love the idea. Like what if, now I want to write a book or something. Cause what if there was some sort of magic girl and you thought you were falling into your usual magic girl genre, but then the magic girl turns out to have like her own demands. And she's like, look, I understand that I'm now supposed to be a superhero and I'm on board with that. But if we're going to get into superhero business, we are going to use a little of this magic in order to make sure that I can have my own movie. <laughs> Cause that's her lifelong dream. That would be kind of interesting. To be fair, if you're like always risking your life and, and going out in the world to fight evil, you probably should be a little compensated, I feel. Oh, holy heck. <laughs> Crystal Rose, welcome, welcome. Three months. You have hatched from your egg into a strange chicken. Congratulations. Thanks, Siri, because watching you play Planet Zoo on YouTube and also live, I now play Planet Zoo all day and night and I'm learning as I go. Oh, I'm so glad. I hope you're enjoying. Keeping up the daily Planet Zoo adventures has definitely been a bit of a, a, a fun challenge. And I'm actually planning on making another new zoo 
centered around a certain canine that many people love adamantly uh, for the summer. I, I just, just to give you guys a little heads up on Planet Zoo. Also, let me go ahead and pull up your creature really quickly. Oh, Lexi, are you gonna show off another bug? Wait, that sounded like <gasps> a Madagascan sunset moth. Congratulations! You are definitely having a good time touring the wonders of Wildberry's wildlife. All right, let me pull up a cool picture for you. It is not a, a fox. There are no fox. There, there's the. There are no foxes in Planet Zoo yet, unfortunately. All right, and let's see, Crystal Rose. What can I pull up for you from my nature pictures photos? Let me see. Let me see, let me see. There's so many. Which ones to pick from? Let's try something in May. I don't know what in May, but we're just gonna dive in. And what did I find? What was May like? <gasps> Here, Crystal Rose. Oh, it's been so long since I've looked at this little one. But Crystal Rose, sneaking in to the nest, is Chip the chipmunk. This is Jen. This is Jen, the chipmunk who lived under the generator in our backyard when we lived in Michigan. And we loved her so freaking much. And orange lilies! I don't have any orange lilies that are currently blooming. I think somebody just dropped off orange lilies. So I apologize that I don't have any orange lilies for people to pluck. You can check up on the plateau though. I might have ended up with some uh, over in the wildflower plateau at the back left of the island. I might, I might have them and just not know it. But welcome, welcome to your third month in the nest. And uh, I, I really love chipmunks. I miss them a lot. We have them here in North Carolina, but they are not nearly as bold as the ones in Michigan, so we never see them. There we go. Oh, Fluffy, thank you. We're definitely, oh, there was some litter. I found it and I ate it. We're definitely gonna have to go ahead and check out the shark designs before the end of the night. Oh, I'm so happy, you guys. I've missed all of you. It's been heckin' wonderful. Oh, British Lemur! Thank you so much for explaining that. Yeah, that's one of the wonderful things about our, like, ability to do Twitch now, is if you have Amazon Prime, which a lot of people do right now, uh, which is another conversation in itself, but... Hey, new elf! Welcome, welcome! But if you do, then it's totally free to subscribe on Twitch. Or there we go. Puddle said Siri and I have. Oh, another dragonfly. Oh, Matt's no hobbies. <laughs> I have a lot of hobbies, Puddles. Just because I turned all of my hobbies into a job doesn't mean that I don't have hobbies. Thank you. Okay, more tulip. Oh, they made a purple tulip over here. That's delightful. That's really cool. Oh, Toast Place, welcome, welcome. Have a wonderful night. We're actually going to be wrapping up in about 15 minutes ourselves because I told the chips we would start going to bed on time at 10 p.m. Uh, we've made ourselves a promise that we would start doing that again. We started getting a little naughty about not going to bed on time. So after I gather these cherries, I'm going to set a little timer for everybody who's on the island. And then we're actually going to say that we fed the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar quite well today and try transforming into that beautiful Beetle Queen outfit that the wonderful, wonderful science was kind enough to make for us. All right, let's see. Ooh, and these tulips actually produced a, a purple tulip. Yay! So it looks like both orange and black tulips will make purple tulips. Heck, that is cool. Hey, Sheldon. Also, let's see if we can run into Octavian, or uh, we'll go give this to Cranston too. Okay, Frey, do you like writing fanfics? Is that is that a, a fun hobby for you? I used to, like way, way back in the day, I used to write quite a few fanfics. What, did, what was my first fanfic on? Harvest Moon. First fanfic was on Harvest Moon. That's pretty on brand for me. Pretty on brand. Oh, thank you, Cran Lexi. I'll, I'll search out Cranston in just a second. Hungry Hungry Caterpillar is gonna earn some more cash by selling these, selling these delicious fruits. Oh, thank you, British Lemur. I will give the outfits to Cranston and to Octavian. I'm gonna eat a few more of these peaches before we do though. 
because they help bring in a ton of money. And we do owe Tom Nook almost three million bells. And we do owe my beloved Chips a million bells that I want to pay him back. Oh, Nature Claw! Your hobby is world building. It's become an obsessive, uh, an ex obsession brainchild you've been working on for six years. <gasps> That's so fun! I love world building. I don't know if something could give away to you guys that I like telling stories. Just maybe. I don't know. It is. It... Mm -hmm. Did did anything clue you in? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and we'll pick up this wood while we're over here. There we go. Oh, and that's right. I need to put down some fun things around Sheldon's house. We do have some wonderful pine cones and acorns to leave around Sheldon's house. All right, I'm gonna get these pears too. I'm a hungry caterpillar. <laughs> oh no, Matt, your net broke. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <gasps> Backlog, really? It doesn't seem like your cup of tea. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I, I like world building. I, I very much do. All right, Octavian's home. Let's give him one of the sushi outfits. And Brooke in a book, world building can be in writing or if you look over all of the series we've done, it can be in all of the stories we've woven together to end up creating like even the role play that we do here in Wildberry. Octavian, are you playing the drums with a hammer? I feel like we caught him playing the drums with a hammer. <laughs> that seems like an Octavian thing to do. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, don't ever do that. I agree with you, band room bat. Um, but I feel like we caught him doing that. All right, we're gonna say that he goes fishing with our boy Cranston and give him this, oh, British lemur, Octavian, my beautiful husband. British Lemur, thank you. All right, let's see what he's building. Once I start something, I gotta keep going till it's done. Guess I'm getting more stubborn with age. What you doing? Oh, alien! I'm making a tiki, tiki torch. It's tough, but I got ages of patience. Reckon you need that to be into DIY, Splash. Okay, we do know a tiki torch, but we'll go ahead and take the DIY anyway. Thank you, Octavian. <gasps> Marshall's sick? Oh my gosh, Levisa! Take him some medicine. That'll, that'll help him feel a lot better. Also, you have Marshall on your island. That's so cool. All right, so let's see how Octavian's doing. I heard some friends of yours from another island are visiting today, Butterbean. Splash? I should be the head of PR for Wildberry Splash. I don't know about that, Octavian, but thank you. Thank you for the offer. All right, like what would you, what do you think he would tell people visiting our island, guys? It being Octavian. Not sure. All right, so we're gonna give him this tuna sushi costume because he goes fishing with Cranston and they like to eat the 3D sushi. I can't begrudge them. A tuna sushi costume. Guess I'll give this a try right now. It looks like a pretty, pretty flower dress. It looks like Octavian's ready for wedding month. <laughs> it looks like like a really like floral, lacy dress, doesn't it? <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> I didn't think he would look like Octo Sushi, <laughs> but he looks he looks like he's wearing a lacy dress. Um, <laughs> that's amazing. Band room that he does look like he's gonna go to the flower dance in Stardew Valley. I don't want any freebies. Here, have a tailored jacket. Wait, thank you, Octavian. I appreciate that. Oh! <laughs> Backlog. This place has plants. Over there, it's got some fruit. Got some shops. What more do you want? That's amazing, Backlog. That's, I'm gonna screenshot that because that's exactly what Octavian would say if he was like giving the Wildberry PR tour. He's like, here's the plants, more plants. Here's some shops. What else do you people want? <laughs> uh, how you doing, Octavian? He, like, from the back, I can kind of, it kind of looks like he's wearing a shell, to be honest. And from the front, it does look like he's wearing a lacy dress. Make yourself at home. Just don't touch anything. <laughs> Thanks, Octavian. 
<laughs> All right, that's amazing. Let's go give the other one to Cranston. Oh, and I actually need to set a little 10 minute timer. So let me go grab a timer from my house just to warn the people who are visiting. I can't believe that like three hours has already gone by so fast, you guys. What? <laughs> like, this is why I love these nights and I look forward to them so much. And tomorrow, if everything goes to plan, we should actually have a earlier live stream for our weekend live streams. And we're gonna work on making Cranston's flower farm, which is gonna turn into an ant farm when we hopefully are able to snag some turnips from Daisy May uh, pretty soon. All right, I'm gonna set 10 minute timer, just to let you guys know. There we go. You know, science, I love that. Octavian does have very open masculinity. I love it. My dad really taught me how important that was when I was little. Uh, he used to wear pink shirts all the time. And when he'd come home, he would laugh and be like, the guy's at work, because he's an engineer who was like working on pipelines. So like hanging out with the rough and tough crew. And he used to laugh and be like, the guys at work were teasing me about wearing pink. And I just told him, uh, what would he say? He'd just laugh and he'd be like, I just ask him, yeah, what about it? Like, my dad was really, really good about that. Cranston's on the beach. Thank you, Lexi. I'll find him in just a second. Hungry, hungry. Litterbug wants to go ahead and eat some of these. My dad's really cool like that. And he was the one because my mom was so sick. Uh, I mean, it really, he honestly kind of transformed in how he thought about masculinity after my mom got so sick because suddenly he had to be the one to take us to school and show up at the school meetings and he had to be the one to do all the cooking uh fun fact my dad's a much better cook than my mom for everything except for pumpkin pie <laughs> so that worked out well for us uh, but i was really proud at how he kind of rose to that and changed his perspective of what it meant to take care of his family because by the end of it, after my dad started having heart issues and couldn't work anymore, uh, and then his spine had that terrible accident, so he really couldn't work anymore. By the end of it, I grew up with a house dad. And I will never forget being in my sociology class and being so confused when uh, our sociology teacher in college was talking about shifting gender roles. And she was like, it's still extremely uncommon, but sometimes there are men who stay home to take care of the family and do the traditional feminine roles. This represents a shift in our society. And she was like, those of you who had your father or a father figure stay at home instead of your mother, please raise your hand. And I remember laughing at her in my head as she's like talking about it being so uncommon. I'm like, oh, come on. Like, it's just whoever can do the job right, right? And if somebody wants to work out of the house, they can go do that. It doesn't matter. So I like raised my hand. I was the only one in 50 other college students who apparently had my dad be a stay at home dad growing up. And not one of the other students had that. I was flabbergasted. Oh no, I picked my, my green mum. Cause I thought it was like the norm now. Uh, but anyway, there's a little background on Siri and her view of traditional gender roles. Don't let mom in the kitchen, please. Unless it's Halloween and we're having pumpkin pie. <laughs> oh yeah, and British Lemur, I totally am going to check with Isabel before we end the end of the stream. Oh, good night, neighborhood dragon. Hi, Roxy. Welcome, welcome. And all right, guys, I do keep checking up on you, Cranston, because I love you. One of my bug friends told me that we have a visitor on the island. That's pretty cool, yeah? Should I put something out for our visitor? Some snacks or or maybe some, um, some snacks? You guys, Cranston wants to leave you guys snacks. First impressions are important. All right, let's go ahead and give him a cute little sushi outfit. Oh, snacks for Cranston. I love it, Ganyu. So now we're going to give him the tuna sushi outfit. Cranston, my boy. Enjoy. Wow, this is a tuna sushi costume. Oh, neat. I gotta try it on pronto. I bet it makes me look dapper. I've always wanted to look dapper. Cranston, you're dapper. What do you think? Not a stain on it. Thanks, Butterbean. Here, a cycling shirt just for you, Novel. Oh, yay, Cranston. Oh, and people brought snacks for Cranston. You guys. Thank you! You guys are all so 
precious. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. All right. So let me see. I'm going to go ahead and sell some of these things and check on the shops. It does look so good on him. I love it. So let's go check the shops. And then... We'll check and see if Isabel will let us go ahead and actually see the island rating real quick. Oh, Thunderstrike, your dad also cooks quite a lot too. Oh, hey, Leah. We have got uh, quite a few villagers on our island. Right now we have got Cranston, my son, Mama Sky, who's amazing, Octavian. We have Tiffany, who's a thief and we need to watch out for her. Uh, Prince Julian. We've got Popstar Puddles. Let's see, we've also got Big Sister Ursula. We have, hang on, I'm gonna get all of them. June, who's visiting for a beach tour. We have Meringue, who is going to grow, a, or she's going to build, of course I would say grow, a cafe. And finally, we have got Sheldon, the survival squirrel. I knew I'd remember all of them. And hey, Chess, welcome, welcome. Chris, welcome, welcome to the adventures. Old man balloon head. Yeah, old man balloon head, all right. Wait, why am I in the cabinet? I don't know why I opened the cabinet. It's because I'm tired and I was just like, there's flowers in here. I just instinctually know this is the flower cabinet. And so I like went straight to it, despite the fact that we're not here for the flowers. There's soup, there's tea. Oh, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. There's a hammock. <laughs> And there's an antique wooden chair. <laughs> if you guys remember the antique wooden chair fiasco with our thief Tiffany, that's hilarious. Oh, Leah, the wiki. Let me pull it up. It's still broken because I haven't had a chance to like fix everything on the wiki yet. But we do have a little bit of information. I haven't had any chance to upgrade the wiki or give people access to upgrade the wiki just yet. But we're gonna have a nice wiki set up for wild bearing so it's easy to catch up on our adventures. All right, and we'll sell the boys uh, some things as soon as people are done talking to them. <gasps> and oh, oh my gosh, I just realized, Matt, that you're wearing the, the wishing star outfit and you have a little bee. Oh, that's gonna make Annie so happy. Traffic controller Annie, they really did a great job on the wishing star outfit. Oh, can two people sell at the same time? <gasps> two people can sell stuff at the same time! My mind is blown. What the heck? All right, let me sell all this stuff. Oh, going, going, going! Going, 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 going! There we go, I'm going! Okay, 44,000 bells. Going, 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 going! Thank you! That was a lot in uh, selling fruit. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Matt. Oh my gosh. Annie's gonna be very happy. And then, oh, thank you, Pudding. Cyber, Violet just asked if someone can sprain their eyeballs by rolling them so hard. That is so funny. <laughs> and good night, Gnu, good night. I'll be mass closing the gates in just a second and we will be transforming from our hungry, hungry litter bug into a uh, very happy queen beetle who has definitely eaten all the litter. Hey, Emmy Benny, welcome, welcome to the adventures. And we're going to see if Isabel is content now that we have cleaned up all the litter. And you guys may notice that we have a huge mess of flowers everywhere. And so tomorrow for our live stream in the afternoon, which I think is going to start around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, as usual. <laughs> there's, no, there's just fruit snacks everywhere. I love it. Hungry Hungry Litter Bug has to eat all of them. But tomorrow we're going to try moving some of the flowers around. And we're also going to come over and we're going to terraform the area around Cranston's house so that it will be prepared for his adventures that he has coming up and having an actual ant farm where we are going to put down spoiled turnips so he actually has an ant farm. I think it's gonna be amazing. And then, oh, nope, Leah, I haven't ever had that glitch. And then, yeah, 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 Lexi, if you wanna buy the chair, go for it. You can have one of the very expensive antique forged chairs of Wildberry. Go ahead and snag it before I close the, the session and you're welcome to it. Cranston, I love you and I love your footprints. 
So I'm excited because tomorrow we might have a chance to finally organize some of these flowers um, and get Cranston's farm up and going. Because I've been saving a whole bunch of Animal Crossing inspiration pictures for farms. And I saw this one recently. Oh, that's tiny. But I saw this one recently and I kind of want to do something similar to this for Cranston because this looks amazing. And then leave the spoiled turnips out so that it actually ends up creating a bit of a farm. I know, right, Pudding? It's just so fun. And uh, British Lemur, yeah, I'm gonna stream tomorrow night. It's going to be probably around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so like three hours earlier than usual, because uh, I tried to stream earlier for the people in the UK on the weekends. I know, it's precious. I love this. I love the idea of like, making a blooming onion cauliflower field and a moss ball field. Just delightful. Oh, hey, Hunter! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for visiting the island, everyone. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and close the session so that we can wrap up and transform our hungry, hungry litter bug into a beautiful butterfly. Because that's, that's gonna be wonderful. So, all right, let's do this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kick a snooze. There we go. Thank you guys so much for visiting. I'm so happy so many of you were able to redeem the Wildberry field trip ticket. And Paint Seagull, do you want me to save some of my turnips for this project? I sold most of them, but I think I still have a good few. Yeah, if you don't mind saving a couple turnips. I, I just need a couple of rotten turnips to put as our ant farm. Uh, and actually I've seen people start hiding turnips behind trees in the forest so that you have natural little lines of ants in the hiking trails. I totally want to do that too. I think that'd be amazing. Oh, yes, of course. Oh my gosh, it's 3 a.m. there. Yeah, that's why I tried to do it a little. I'm going to try to do it a little earlier for you. And good night, Coley. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and go into the Able Sisters shop. And we're going to transform ourselves into the Beetle Queen and also see what they're selling really quickly. Oh, and we need to see Isabel's rating for sure. Wait, hello there, Mabel. Oh, I totally forgot about the cow plant. Oh, look, the bug outfit. Thank you so much for leaving it, Lexi. Oh my gosh, I love seeing the designs you guys have made. Holy heck, it's so much fun when people come and then we actually have new designs pop up that I just don't expect. Also, Julian was actually wearing the um, toad outfit last time. So yeah, if you guys visit, please feel free to swap out some of the outfits that are up there because I am just tickled to pieces by it. Uh, also, I need to go ahead and take off this outfit because it's a, there we go. It's a transformation outfit. There, all right. Let's run inside here real quick. And thank you, Leah. I'll have a little sip of tea in your honor. Let me just make sure we're not going to pass up on anything I really want to buy. Oh, wow, look at these robes. Heck. Oh, and what's oh, a blue chick? You guys, I'm so buying this. I want to be a little blue bird. We got a really cute little like white baby chick last time. I want to be a blue bird. That would be really fun. Oh, and look at this small silk hat. Okay, that's perfect for Julian. We have to give that to Julian at some point. That's just too perfect. All right, anything else that I really want to buy? Here's a rounded beard. I don't have the rounded beard in my catalog yet, so we'll grab that. Um, cowboy boots. <laughs> Why not? All right. Look at that. The high fashion at the Evil Sisters. I love it. All right. Let's buy these. Half of them just so that I can have them in my inventory and my catalog. There we go. And finally, let's go ahead and transform into the lovely Beetle Queen. I just need to go ahead and access the kiosk real quick. <gasps> you can customize the villager photo frames? Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so delightful. Oh, and thank you so much, Miss Rose, again, for giving Girl With A Game a chance to come on over. And I'm so glad you had such a wonderful time, Lexi. I loved seeing you pop up with all of your different bugs that you had. Oh, this has made your day and you will always cherish the memories you've made with this amazing community. You guys are so wonderful. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys are just so kind to each other and you're just so... Oh, thank you. 
I've missed you. And this is this is why like I was so distracted and working so hard on the stuff we were doing. Whoops. For our YouTube things too, because that's where we started. And I hope that some glimmer of this happiness and the happy memories that we make here together will also show up for the people who are chomping about new to our YouTube channel. Because I think everybody could use a little bit of happiness lately and hopefully a little bit of an opportunity to be told that other people love their laugh too. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to search by creator ID really quickly. And this is actually Science, who created so many amazing things for us. Eight, four, and seven, eight. And we're gonna transform into the Beetle Queen now that we have fed the Hungry Hungry. This is always tricky for me because I have number dyslexia. So numbers move around. There we go. But we're gonna transform into the Beetle Queen, talk to Isabel, and then relax and rest before tomorrow's stream. All right, so these are all of the things that science has made. Oh my gosh, mushroom patches! You're kidding me, and blue hibiscuses? Science! <gasps> Mossy stones and turtle eggs! <gasps> science made turtle eggs, you guys! Oh my gosh, I'm saving those. I am so saving those, and we're gonna have to put down some turtle eggs in the future. That is so freaking exciting. All right. Oh, I hear chips, so we won't take too much longer. And then for these designs, <gasps> shark journey! Oh my gosh, science! Oh wow, that turned out really good. <laughs> thank you, science. I'm gonna add this into the custom. Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you so much. You left a message on the bulletin board. Lexi, that's so sweet. I am clearly very tired now, but I'm gonna check that out before we go tonight. Shark journey, that looks amazing. Oh, and I can't quite see these ones because, hang on, my webcam's in the way. Zelda. <gasps> Serious Twitch Nest, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. We have our little nest over here, you guys. What the heck? I'm gonna have to see if we can put that up for people. That is so sweet. We've got Ariel shirt, the Thumbelina dress. There it is. All right. Here we are. The moment has come. We will become the Beetle Queen. Oh, I have not read Puddle's, Puddle's picture yet because we can't reach it because our, our room is so messy on. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Pietro just gave you his photo, Matt. That's so wonderful. I am so glad you had a good time coming over. I love being able to have a few of you guys over just casually like that is really nice. So that's what the field trip tickets are kind of for. So you can kind of, more or less, as long as I don't need to be doing like terraforming or outdoor work that it won't let me do when people aren't visiting. If you just want to chill on the island and hang out and find surprises together, that's what it's for. All right, let's transform our outfit. And we're going to wiggle up here. And there are a limited number of design slots. But you know, at least we'll have the memories. I, I wish they would, less than having more inventory space, I wish that they would actually make more design slots. What do you guys think? All right, let's grab the Thumbelina dress. Look at us. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. We need to be super fancy. Here, we can, we can maybe give ourselves like the pleather bag and say it's like our wings are tucked into the bag or something. And then let's give ourselves, ooh, super fancy mage's boots, yes. And everyday tights. And do I have anything fancy? Ooh, what about that mask? Hey now, gotta think about this. And then I have the right hat, I know I do. I know I've got this hat somewhere in here. Boom, oh, I love her. There we go, guys. Okay, let me check the accessories again, just in case I have something even more perfect. Oh, that's actually kind of really good for Beetle Queen. Hmm. What do you guys think? Okay, actually, I love the masquerade mask. That's really good. All right, this is perfect. This is wonderful. We'll just leave it as Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. Let's wiggle on out. 
And now that we have fed our hungry, hungry little nitterbug, we're going to transform into the beetle queen. And let's go talk to Isabel and see if we have picked up enough litter off the island that we actually have a fair chance of maybe getting five stars now. I love it! Thank you so much, science! Oh, this is awesome! This is absolutely fantastic. Delightful. All right, so we have now transformed, went to our little chrysalis. Let's come in and see what Isabel has to say. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lexi, I'd be greedy and want more inventory and design slots. There we go. All right, Isabel. Island evals. What do you say? Four star rating still. Okay, okay. Excerpt of feedback. I started visiting the island because my brother moved here, but I instantly fell in love with the place. Many communities build themselves so big and bright you can hardly make out a star in the night sky. Not on Wildberry. I shall be a regular, regular visitor to its shores and skies for some time. Thank you, Celeste. All right, tell me about it, Isabel. According to recent feedback, the general sentiment is that this island lacks appealing scenery. Okay, so we need to decorate the island from head to toe. Got it, got it. Variety, got it. Okay, but did we pick up all the litter? <gasps> we did! Okay! So the only thing we need to do now is to decorate the island more, you guys. We're getting closer! Five stars, here we come! Yay! Go Wildberry! Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, and broken a book. Celeste's brother is Blathers, the other owl. I know, almost woo. We're almost there, friends. All right, and we are the Beetle Queen, which is fantastic. But all right, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. This has been so delightful. I missed all of you. And it has just been so fun to step back into everything. All right, let me wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay. All right, wiggle, wiggle. And let's see. Anybody, anybody floating about? <laughs> let's see if we can send on some more Animal Crossing vibes tonight. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, and you know what? Here, we've never raided this person before, but I have seen some of their stuff and they're doing some fishing right now, which I think is pretty delightful. So we're gonna, my, my draft twin is streaming again, but I don't wanna give her a panic of uh, raiding her four times in a row. So all I see is that this person is doing some fishing. We like some good 3D sushi. So for Cranston and Octavian's sake, if you could go and say hello to Snowlit and let her know that uh, you too are interested in the 3D sushi, I would deeply appreciate it. And then tomorrow, my friends, hopefully around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, if things work on my internet, we'll be back and we will start tidying up Cranston's farm, which I'm so excited about. And we might even have a early stream or a stream after that where we might review the Wholesome Direct and see what kind of games we plan on adding in to our stream and our YouTube channels. So we'll have to see. But all right, good night, everybody. Good night. I hope you all have a wonderful time and send those drafts forth on a stampede of awesomeness. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>